Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Super Saturday Morning, your source for vintage cartoons, commercials, and anime, with a brand new broadcast premiering live every Saturday morning at 7.45 a.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. First things first, I want to play a game with you guys this week, a fun game. In this broadcast, I have included three very blatantly politically incorrect commercials all throughout the video. I mean, you'll know it when you see it, trust me. When you see each one, you will say to yourself, wow, this wouldn't fly in 2023. Simply be the first to leave a comment below with the correct timestamp of all three politically incorrect commercials, and you will earn yourself a shout out on the next broadcast monologue. This is meant to be fun while increasing viewership and interaction. This is not meant to offend anyone, it's all about laughing about how absurd the commercial was and having a laugh at the thought of what people would be saying if this aired on national television today. So, when you see a commercial that would cause everyone on Twitter to melt down, write down the timestamp from when that offensive commercial began, and when you have all three timestamps, be the first to put them in a comment for this video and you will get yourself a shout out. Today's broadcast consists of Josie and the Pussycats, Drag Pack is making its debut as the second show. Uh, it's a little bit of a odd one, but it's good. Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. I have been loving this cartoon as of late. It almost makes you forget about what Bill Cosby did, but of course you never forget, and I will never let you forget. Space Stars. Ulysses 31, which has been on fire, and we will talk about the ending of last week's episode in just a second. We have the uh, Marvel Action Universe block of Spider-Man, Dino Riders, and Robocop. We have the two regulars, uh, Dungeons and & Dragons and Inhumanoids. We are still riding the coattails of the Super Mario Brothers movie with the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. We have Captain and the Game Master, Mega Man, the United States version, Mega Man, the Japanese version. Um, that's the second out of the three episodes. The Heroic Legend of Arslan. That is episode five. Next week will be the uh, final episode. That'll be the season, our series finale. We have part one of two of the movie Blood Rain, Curse of the Yoma. We have uh, Night Warriors, Darkstalkers Revenge, uh, part two out of four. And last but not least, we have Berserk. So how about last week's episode of Ulysses 31, huh? That's some depressing stuff. Don't be fooled by the happy-sounding, upbeat intro and outro theme of the show. Ulysses 31 gets dark. Real dark. That ending had me messed up the first time I saw it. I felt so bad for Sisyphus at the end when he contemplates his fate, and then Zeus asks him, Why didn't you escape with Ulysses? And Sisyphus tells him, I would have incurred your wrath. Meanwhile, Ulysses has already incurred the wrath of the gods, so they would have been on the same boat. Well, ship, I guess. Then Zeus tells him, Ulysses tried to help you, but instead you fought him. Why didn't you just disobey us? And then the music during that scene was, you know, super epic yet depressing. It has a great score, this, this, uh, this cartoon. Then you see Sisyphus' face when he realizes his fate when uh, the station he was working on gets pulled into another dimension. And for the rest of eternity, he is forced to scrap those big metal balls that roll down the hill. You know, and he'll have to throw the scrap into the hole, only for the factory below to reassemble those big metal balls and for them to come rolling back down that hill where he has to repeat the same boring, laborious, pointless, ball-busting, no pun intended, task forever and ever until the end of time. Sisyphus left behind a great life in order to find the secret of immortality, and unfortunately, he found it. Ulysses 31 doesn't get enough credit. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, why not? Is it me? You don't like me? You don't like my voice? You think it's annoying? You know you can skip past the monologue, right? Unless you're tuning in to the live premiere, which in that case, aha, bask in the noise of my stupid voice. No, but seriously, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and hit the notification bell so that you always know when a video is dropping. Doing this will get this channel more attention and will help me out big time. 
you will also be helping yourself out because when I get 50 subscribers, you will get a bonus episode. So uh, come on, what's wrong? Don't you like bonus content? Oh wait, you do like bonus content? Well then hit the subscribe button, fool. Just kidding, you're not a fool. You're wonderful and I'm glad you're here. But earlier I spoke about skipping the monologue and all of this will be possible within the next few weeks other than during a live premiere, obviously, as I will include timestamps on all video descriptions for each episode. That way, if you have certain shows you want to watch, you'll be able to click the timestamp and go straight to it. Just give me a few weeks or so and it will all be sorted out. For this week's live premiere, I will be in the chat as usual, but I might have to leave early depending on what time I am seeing the Super Mario Brothers movie. So if you come in and don't hear from me, that is why. I will let you know next week if the movie is worth seeing or not. Consider it a Super Saturday Morning Movie Review, the first one. Of course, it will be spoiler-free, so please don't worry about that. Okay, let's stop the talking and start the cartooning. Get some food, get something delicious to drink, get your head into the game. Super Saturday Morning starts right now. The world's greatest superheroes. Batman and Robin, the dynamic duo. Superman, the man of steel. Aquaman, the famous undersea crime fighter. Tarzan of the Apes. Shazam, now featured on network television. Captain America, fighting injustice the world over. Spider-Man, the weird wall climber. The Super Foes, the arch enemies of the superheroes. The Super Gals, Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Batgirl, and Catwoman. The Green Arrow, crime fighter from the forest. Iron Man, power personified. The Falcon, that great black superhero. The Green Goblin, Spider-Man's strange enemy. The Lizard, half man, half beast. And that fantastic green giant superhero, The Hulk. And for 1976, the Fantastic Four, The Torch, faster than the speed of light. The Thing, Ben Grimm, Man of Granite. Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Girl, both have the powers of invisibility. Fighting for truth and honor. Conan the Barbarian with his sword of justice. Thor using his Viking power against evil. Maybe friends, we could be an angel on the chance. Be with us in the 
wonder what's keeping Alexander. He should have been here by now. You know my brother. He's the only one who can make a big deal out of a little deal, like renting a car. Oh, here he comes now. Only it looks more like he made a little deal out of a little deal. OK, group, hop in. You've got to be kidding. You mean squeeze in. We'll need a shoehorn to get into that little car. I admit it's small, but it was either this or six used pogo sticks. Aha. Uh -huh. This is just the chance I was waiting for to get Alan for myself. OK, gang, let's get this show on the road. My, my, what a shame. There's no more room. I guess Alan and I will have to take a cab. <laughs> but, but, but you have the directions to the hotel, Alexandra. Here, I'll make you a quick copy. These phony directions will keep Josie away from Alan for a while. <laughs> Here you are, brother dear. Thanks, sis. See you at the hotel. Come on, Alan. Let's grab that cab. Hold it a second. To the Bombay Tilton, cabbie. Hey, what gives? Isn't this romantic, Alan? Alone at last. Last cab to the Bombay Tilton. All aboard. <laughs> According to the map, the hotel should be right around the corner. Wow! Is this our hotel? It must be. Alexandra gave us the directions. That's what I'm afraid of. Business must be bad. It looks like we're the only guests. Why don't you two go look for the desk clerk and we'll wait here. Uh, for Alexandra and Alan. Okay, dig you later. Come on, Melody. The chameleon leaves will soon make us the potion we seek. Activate the energizer. <laughs> Alexandra pulled another one of her tricks. This is no hotel. Then it must be a theater. Look down there, they're putting on a play. The potion of a thousand faces is ready. Now nothing can stop the secret six. Bravo! Bravo! Encore! Encore! Look, Kazim! Intruders! After them! That's no play, it's for real! Let's swing out of here! Hey, look! Here come Josie and Melody. Yikes! And look what's behind them! Wow! They're trying to shock it to us! I can do without this hairdo! Gangway! Women and chickens first! They've escaped, Kazim! Only for the moment. We will deal with them later. lucky to find the hotel. Hmm. I'll bet you made up that story about the secret six just to try and make me feel foolish. It's all true. There were hundreds of these hooded guys in red robes surrounding us on all six sides. But they didn't stand a chance against Alexander Cabot III. Hey, somebody's trying to get in. Yikes, it's them again. They're after us. Uh, can we help you? Oh, my apologies. I thought this was my room. Obviously, I am mistaken. My room is next door. So sorry. Wasn't that the man who was on the plane with us? Yeah, he's kind of a creepy-looking character. Just your type, Josie. Well, I don't know about mysterious temples and creepy guys, but I do know that it's time to turn in. Well, we'll see you girls in the morning. Good night, Good night. Good night. Now, let's see. How do these wall beds work? You might 
try pulling it down. <laughs> I never thought of that. Thanks. It's down. No, it's up. Can't you do anything right, Melody? There, it's simple. Isn't that fun? Well, no crummy bed is going to get the best of a cat. I'll sit on the bed while you tie it to the floor. All set, Melody? Just as soon as I get the rope. Now, where did Alexandra go? Help! Help! What are you doing in there? I always sleep in wall beds this way, ding-a-ling. <laughs> That's silly. Beauty sleep. Sebastian, get your big paw off me. Well, you're not Sebastian. Hey, there's a tiger in our room. Oh, help! 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 Oh. Hello, room service. Could you please send up a tiger tamer? What's all that noise? Sounds like the girls are watching the Late Late Show. And that isn't easy, because they don't have a TV set. Come on, we'd better go see what's going on. Help! Do something! What's going on here? Where's Alexandra? She's trapped in there with a real live tiger. A tiger? Stand back, girls. That takes care of that overgrown cat temporarily. Oh, Alan, you saved me. That deserves a big kiss. What happened? The next time you decide to faint, do it by an open window. While you three take the tiger to the zoo, we'll straighten up the room. Are you sure you can handle it, Alexander? Sure. Mush, girls. I wonder how that tiger got into your room. I'll bet it had something to do with those red-robed creeps we saw. Look 
exactly alike. I see it, but I don't want to believe it. <laughs> Nothing will stop us from succeeding. Yes, again, creep. As soon as we're out of here, I'm going to tell the police. You will tell no one. The rest of your days will be spent here, tied to these posts. Ha! Huh. These chintzy ropes won't keep us tied up. I'm an expert at untying knots. Why did you have to tell them that, Alexandra? Now they're sealing us up in the wall. Cool it, girls. We'll figure a way out of here yet. There is no escape, and no one will ever find you. <laughs> Sneakers. Oh, no, you don't. You're coming with us. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go. You can't make me. He sure is strong for a chicken. <laughs> and slippery as an eel. I think we'd better try something else. Now, this is more like it. We're all set, Alexander. All you have to do is drive the car forward, and we'll be hoisted up to that balcony. Val, for a girl, you're a mechanical wizard. Oh, no! A mud pun!
Exciting as its name. You've got to be good to score a goal. Good with a gun that fires real steel ammo, that hits the puck, that makes Crossfire the name of the game. And you've got to be fast to reload in seconds, to score and win. Oh. It's tough, it's exciting, and it's the only game called Crossfire. Ask for it by name. Crossfire, it's ideal. The Flintstone playset. Yeah, we gotta do. Hey, Fred, come on out. Let's go bowling. Here are all your favorite Flintstone characters, including Dino the dinosaur. The Flintstone cave house turns into a fun-filled living room packed with caveman furniture and Fred's rockmobile. Yeah, we gotta do. Closed, it's a carrying case. The Flintstone Playset by Migo. From the monsters of the past comes a new generation dedicated to reversing the evil image of their forefathers. 
Under the leadership of none other than Count Dracula, known as Big D, three teenagers formed the do-gooder group, named the Dragpack. With special powers, they can transform into super mighty monsters and use their skills against all evildoers, especially the diabolical Dr. Dread and his renegade rascals, Toad, Fly, Mummy Man, and Vampira, a group known as Ogre, the organization of generally rotten enterprises. It's right versus wrong, good over greed, niceness against naughtiness. That's the dedication of the terrific trio, Frankie, Howler, and Frank Jr., the Drag Pack. like a failure because the drag pack has thwarted all his evil plots. It's given him an inferiority complex, poor dear. I'm suggesting that he read these books on how to develop a more colorful personality. Hmm. Maybe I'll slip in a book on how to control a red hot temper. Whoops! Oh no! Any noise in Dr. Dredd will be very angry. Oh! Oh! No, I, I'm sorry, Master. I didn't mean to interrupt your uh, uh, inferiority complex. What inferiority complex, Claude? I am the brilliantly radiant Dr. Dredd, and don't you forget it. I, I guess he's feeling better. He's his old rotten self again. Uh oh. I brought some books, Dr. Dredd. Books? Bah! I don't need books to change my personality. I guess he is feeling better. Right. Read it. The problem is not that I have to be more colorful. No, the solution is obvious. The world must become less colorful. Uh, brilliant conclusion, Master. Uh, but, but how do you make the world less colorful? Huh? How? With this, the Dr. Dread Color Collector. It is, of course, only a model, but most effective nonetheless. Behold. Amazing. Incredible. But where did all the color go? Oh, that's where. Enough dilly-dally. We must construct a full-size color collector at once. Hop to it, Toad. And as for you, Dark Pack, you're in for a very colorful experience. Or should I say, colorless. This is it. Boy, I can hardly wait to get my new suit. Well, well, what have you to report? They have entered the store, Dr. Dredd. Good, good. Give me the location, Vampira. Area 2C, Sector 5. I just set my instrument in the proper parameter. Area 2C. Sector 5? Perfect! That suits me fine! Well, how do you like it? I picked it all out by myself. Remind me never to let Frankie go shopping by himself again. The true glory of this garment can only be appreciated in the daylight. Let's go outside. Wow! I see what he means. Me too! Yikes! We should throw my sunglasses. Well, Frankie, uh, that's what I call a... a suit. Hey, what happened to my set of threads? Wow, I've heard of colors that fade, but that's ridiculous. Uh, oh, I, oh, dear. Mm, I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, I'll reduce it to half price, and I'll throw in an extra pair of pants. And, and, and fellas... Oh, oh, uh, Boy, the nerve of that guy trying to sell me a suit like that. 
I liked it better after it faded. Anything would have been an improvement. All our productive red, they are approaching the intersection. <laughs> You went through a red light! I did not. The signal wasn't working. Yipes! What are we doing up here on the museum steps? It was the only safe place we could find. I wouldn't bet on it, Frankie. What's going on? Oh boy, the art museum director! Don't worry, I'll handle this. Uh, you're probably wondering why we're parked here. Yes? Well, it's, uh, very simple. Uh, that is, uh, I mean, um... Yeah, <laughs> see, uh, Drac really has a way with words. <laughs> a funny way. <laughs> Never mind that. Maybe you can explain this. Certainly. Those are very nice drawings. Wrong. They were paintings until a few minutes ago. Paintings? But that's... Drac, we gotta go. An emergency call from Big D. Come on. About these paintings. What next? What's the trouble, Big D? What's the trouble? I tomato juice, that's the trouble. No self-respecting vampire will drink tomato juice like that. Yuck. <laughs> Is that all? No, that is not all. Look at my stuffed vulture, my new red cane, my disco shot. Even my electric fang brush. Gosh, all the colors gone. Oh, you noticed. Know if this keeps up, I look like a paint by number. Uh oh, me and my big mouth. Wow, we big D is bleached! Do something! Oh. This is getting a weird. One thing is becoming crystal clear. Yeah, our table. That does it. Someone is pilfering pigments. Right, stealing colors too. Yeah, but who? Huh? Hey, where did they come from? Pretty flowers. Let's find out. What's the note say? What's it say? Hmm. It's a poem. Violets aren't blue. Roses aren't red. You can blame it all on... Not gone? It just ends. Hmm. It's gotta be something that rhymes with red. Let's see. Ted, Fred... Uh, Dread? Dr. Dread. Well, certainly it's Dr. Dredd. Who else? Come on! Yeah, come on. I'm coming! Wow, the city looks like something out of a coloring book. Right, you meddler, and Dr. Dredd has all the crayons. Oh, can I blast them, Dr. Dredd? I think Toad toned them down, huh? Please, huh? There, that'll wash them out. Oh, no! You're the washout, you warty weasel! That what is the color restorer, you noodle noggin! Bad Toad, bad Toad. Now, our first problem is locating that sneaky color crook. Yikes! It looks like he located us. With some kind of a ray. We've got to find out where that came from. Uh, Drek? We'll search the whole city if necessary. We won't stop until... But, but, uh, uh Drek? Not now, Howler. Can't you see I'm busy? Dred's hiding somewhere, and... I don't have time to admire the view. We have to... Hey, look what I found. It's Dred's hideout. Let's go! Look what he's found! Those do-gooders are falling right into my trap. And we have the color bats ready. I'll take care of young Drip. Olga, you capture the other two. Certainly, Dr. Drip. Right away. A pleasure. Mm, fine. <laughs> fine. 
Let's go. After you, Master. I'm not jumping out of the window, you klutz. Dr. Dredd has more devious methods. Shh. That ogre gang might be just around the next corner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look! It's Dread! Greetings, Black! That's Drac. I might have known I'd find you defacing public property. What are you up to? Come now, young man. We can't talk here. Even the walls have ears. Oh, no. Another dumb meeting. Where this time? Just follow the arrows, me boy. They point the way. Wait here. I'll find out what this is all about. <laughs> well, Drek sure got a line on devious Dr. Dredd. I'd sure feel better if I knew where that ogre gang was. Well, this should make you really happy, darling. Get them. Yeah! Yeah. Yes, I would say things are really looking up. To the tower. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. Boy, this is really for the birds. I should have taken a bus. Beginning to wonder if these silly arrows lead any. Oh well, at least it wasn't a wild goose chase. <laughs> Me cockles. Don't feel too bad, guys. Oh yeah? Why not? I heard Dr. Dredd say he'd have us feeling in the pink in no time. In the pink? Oh, yes. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not that funny, you tickering toad. I must apologize for your drab surroundings, but never fear. My assistant will soon put a little color into your life. Just aim the color collector at anything pink, toad, and the drag pack will come to a colorful end. Oh, goody. I get to play. Pink, 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 pink. Oh, boy! Look, Drax! So that's his game, is it? The old sink the pack in the pink trap. Look, boss, I'm even using my pinky. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep at it till you've purloined all the pink from the public and private premises. Slurp it up, Toad. Hey, what happened? And that does it. What? Hmm. Our future doesn't look too good. Oh, yeah? I'd say our future looks extremely rosy. Master, may I stop now? It's time for my lunch. Stop? Lunch? Of course not, you oh. ugly green wart. Keep working. I'm going to dream up bigger and nastier plants. Yeah. Mean Dr. Dredd, mean Dr. Dredd. Ugly green wart, am I? Where's that color restorer button? Ah, there it is. Oh, very pretty. Hmm, a bit too flamboyant, perhaps. That's not really me. I'm not feeling blue. No, too formal. Try again. Hey, the levels stop rising. That's good, because I hate pink. You really hate pink, Frankie? It's my bar most unfavored color. Yeah. It must make you mad being up to your neck in it. Yeah, now that you mention it. Boy, I'd be mad too. Nothing but pink everywhere. Yeah, now I'm really mad. Pink is <laughs> Good going, Frankie. Now, Pack, let's drack whack. 
Then you get my cleaning bill. <laughs> that dragon mag pack is ruining my plan. A drag pack, Master. Uh, what are we going to do? Oh, this is your fault. You are going to sneak up to the color collector and blast that tricky trio into see-through superheroes. I am. Aren't you? I am. Then hop to it. So far, so good. Nobody's here. Wrong, Toad. But, uh, I, I was just... Leaving? Uh, right, yes. I was just leaving, yes. Uh-huh. Well, let me help you on your way. Huh? <laughs> oh, thank you. Very kind. Much obliged. Fly as an airbrush artist, you're a fizzle. No! Uh, <laughs> You can say that again. Stop, Olga! I command you! I hope they enjoy their get-together. Yeah, there's nothing like bumping into old friends. Now, let's get the city back to normal. Do you know how to work that control thing right? Are you kidding? It looks tricky. There's, uh, really nothing to it. There's really nothing to it, huh? Well, there's nothing much to me either. I wish I'd said that. <laughs> hmm, uh, a slight miscalculation. Simple to correct. There you are. But where am I? Uh, don't panic. Uh, I'll take care of everything. Oh, it's a bit more complex than it looks. Let's try this one. And this. A couple of these. That one. See? I told you not to worry. Gee, thanks, Drake. You're brilliant. If you think he's brilliant, take a look at that. I'll get you for this, drag Pack. Nobody dabbles with the dynamic Dr. Dread. He's so shy. Yeah, he's blushing all over. Well, that does it. Yeah, we've given this caper the brush. 
Yep, everything's back to normal. Dr. Dredd, Dr. Dredd. Well, not quite everything. Dr. Dredd, there's a beautiful yellow streak down your back. Quiet, you colorless clown. <laughs> Come in, Big D. Come in. I sure hope he's home. Yeah, wake up. We've got great news for you. We fixed everything. All the color is back where it belonged. Oh, yes? That's what you think, Smarties. What happened to my beautiful sickly green? Oh, boy, kids do that. Sends him over a hundred feet at top speed. Loopsy loop. And he's not through yet. Into the dragster. Evil super sprint car with built-in drag shoot to slow him down. What a hook. And now, the Sky Cycle. That daredevil death-defying supersonic sky plane on wheels. And here he is on the super cool chopper bike. With the power that can really rip. He's sensational. He's evil come evil. He's a come knock out. Ideal. Sneaky toys are fun toys. What walks downstairs alone or in pairs and makes a slinkity sound. A spring, a spring, a marvelous thing. Everyone knows it's slinky. It gives a big lift when wrapped as a gift. A very likable toy. It's falling in place, brings smiles to your face. Something kids can enjoy. It's slinky, it's slinky. For fun, it's a wonderful toy. It's slinky, it's slinky. It's fun for a girl and a boy. And slinky mobiles with big slinky wheels and pistons that move as you go. It makes a great sound when you pull it around. The driver's an old-timey fellow. A slinky dog, a slinky train, many more wonderful toys. You tug the string, they do their thing. They're great for girls and boys. They're slinkies, they're slinkies, really wonderful toys. They're slinkies, they're slinkies, they're fun for girls and boys. Slinky, Slinky Dog, Slinky Mobile, all Slinky toys sold separately by James Industries. something before it's done. Hey, hey, hey. kind of guy to wear a funny hat to get a laugh, but you gotta see this one here. All right, now don't laugh, because this hat is a very special hat. This hat is what I never got to wear to Camp Green Lake. See, I got this hat especially at the Army Navy Surplus Store, and when I found out all of us kids were going to summer camp, I just bought it and loved it, but don't you know, I forgot to take it with me. 
Our folks were anxious to send us to summer camp and get us out of the city. See, they wanted us to have all the things they never had. Poison oak, mosquito bites, charcoal, burned potatoes, and all that neat stuff. <laughs> but summer camp can be a lot of fun. Fat Albert and Old Weird Harold and all the gang are really looking forward to going to camp and getting away from the neighborhood for the first time. All right, we're going to camp. Yeah, 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 yeah
As soon as you get your gear put away, line up for chow. Oh, I'm hungry. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> now I know why. I forgot it. Ah, uh, well, listen, uh, the guys are getting their first taste of camp life. I'll never forget the first day at camp for me. I set the world record for the high jump, 100 yards. I stepped on a snake. Of course, when I came back down an hour later, they told me it was a harmless snake. Of course, I knew that all the time, but I was just playing it safe. Anyway, Fat Albert and the gang haven't run into any snakes, but they're going to have a problem while getting adjusted to their new surroundings. All right, men. Enjoy your meal. And when you're done, report back to your cabin. Oh, boy, my favorite, vanilla ice cream. Vanilla, fooey. I want chocolate. Yeah, great. Nothing like vanilla. Yeah, love yeah. Vanilla. I love yeah. vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Love vanilla. Watch this, guys. Hey, big boy. Want my ice cream? You better believe it. Catch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, men, we're going to make our own mattresses. Each one of you take a bag and fill it with hay. Hey, boy, when I want you to carry my bag, I'll call you. I'll give you two bags, carrot hit, one for each eye. Give me that, over my dead body. I'll show you. That's mine. Let go. Get him. Get him in the head. Beat him up. Let go of him. Ow. Hey, cut that out. All right, hit him, hit him. Oh, hey, hey. Hey. Get away with that. Hit him. Yeah, oh, what are you doing for? Let me at him. Cool it, man. We're here to have fun, not fight. Let's get those mattresses stuffed. Get this. Fingers. You can have hay in your mattress. I'll take feathers. <laughs> Come here, Wadley Bottom. Hey, let go. 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 You'll be sorry. Take that. Let go. That's enough horseplay. You men are going to have to learn to live together. That'll be the day. Where do we go home, Bill? It's way at the start. We just got here. We're staying overnight for two weeks. I'm scared. I miss Mom. I miss Mom, too. But it's going to be fun. You'll see. I've just been asked for a story. Who else wants to hear one? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, how are you, yeah, how you yeah. coming from? Instead of me telling the story, how about one of you men doing it? Any volunteers? Tell your chicken heart story, Bill. <coughs> yeah, tell Bill, it to me. Come on. Come Lay it on me, brother. Yeah, tell tell me. Right. Come tell on, me come on Bill. Tell okay. me. Scared. Come on, you didn't scare Bill. me. Oh, you can't scare us. The chicken heart that ate up New York City. <coughs> go, go, chicken, chicken heart. Go, go, go get, get him. Thun, thun. Thun, 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 thun. The chicken heart was kept alive in a vet in a laboratory in a special solution. One day, um, a careless janitor knocked the vet over. The janitor went to get a rag to clean it up. Thun, 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 thun. And the chicken heart grew. Thun, thun. Six foot, five inches. Thun, thun. He went out in search of things to eat. 
It went out of the hallway and rang for the elevator. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. It moved out into the street. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Ate up all of the cabs. Beep beep. up the Jersey Turnpike. It's coming through the woods. He's right behind you. Now, all get into your sleeping bags and turn in. Relax, Russell. I'm taking care of that old chicken heart. Hey, Bunky, I don't think it's such a good idea to go around scaring those guys. Yeah, that's dumb. Party poopers. You guys don't know what fun is. <laughs> Is that the ego scare the chicken hide away? I guarantee it. Crack me when it go home. You'll be all right, Russell. You'll get used to this, man. Come on, Bill. You're up next for the creek hurdling. Come on, chicken. Quit stalling. Stay with me, Bill. Why don't you get lost, kid? Here's your pole, bird brain. <laughs> this is gonna be good. I greased his pole for him. <laughs> okay, Mr. Wise Guy, you've been asking for it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> What's this? Dear Bill, I have gone home. Very truly yours, your brother, who lives in the same house with you, Russell Cosby. Oh, my goodness. Russell's gone! You mean that little kid? We gotta find him before he gets himself all messed up. Come on, gang! Let's go! Hey, Russell! I'll come and get you. Whoa! <laughs> don't, don't be s s scared, kid. Hang on, Bunky! this past two weeks has meant as much to you as it has to me. Yay! All right, all right. All right. All right. All right. Hey, uh, you guys coming back next summer? Oh, uh, I guess so. Uh, you coming back? Uh, yeah, well, maybe, yeah, yeah. Well, see ya. Yeah. So long, pal. So long, men. See you next year. Hey, I don't want to go home. I like him. I want to go back. Come on, Bill. Make him turn around. Let's go back. <laughs> 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 Vacation is over for the gang's parents. <laughs> Russell, Fat Albert, and the gang had the rest of the summer to relive their great experiences at Camp Green Lane. They'll be telling their friends all about Bunky and how he turned out not to be as bad as he seemed. 
But then again, he couldn't have been that bad. The best thing was that the kids got to meet some new friends. And here's a song that came out of that experience. leaving all our cool friends back at Green Lane, wasn't it? I'll say. And how about that little owl we made friends with? Yeah, but I hear he's feeling lots better. Remember how sad he was? Uh-huh. Man, he was real low. He just didn't give a hoot about anything. <laughs> we live in one world, one world, and this is the place. It's one world with one kind of people, the human race. We live in one world, one world, and this is a place. It's one world. It's okay. Cool place, man. Real cool. And the coolest of all, we got to meet some new friends, huh? Can't have too many friends. Or enemies. Huh? Need enemies to tell us our faults. Yeah? And we need friends to tell everybody else. <laughs>
the Penguin. And the Joker. What can they be up to? Oh no, are they going to steal the Batmobile? Can it be? Can they get away with it? Flash the bat signal. The dynamic duo will be needed here for this. I hope they see it. Success! Into action, Robin. The Batcane's computer plots the strategy. They'll need Batcycle and Batcopter for this one. Let's split up and hit them high and low, Boy Wonder. <laughs> Holy leap and Batcycle! We've got to capture those dastardly villains. Trapped at the pass! and let close. Hands that hold on with a Kung Fu grip. The grip you help Joe use in self-defense. G.I. Joe with Kung Fu grip. The hands that grip. Day on Space Stars. Space Ghost can Jason Blip blast into the unknown on stellar patrol and face destruction from a deadly alien. Then the teen force battles Uglord, Lord Master of the Apes, in a life or death struggle for cosmic existence. Herculoids! The Herculoids are challenged by a powerful alien that could mean the end of peaceful life on Quasar. Coming up next on Space Stars. Space Stars! A galaxy of heroes teamed together in an interstellar battle against evil. Blast off on adventures as big as the cosmos itself. Race, poised on the edge of time with Space Ghost and his young friends. Straight through the universe with Space Ace, Astro, and the Space Mutts as they spring into action. And somewhere deep in space, Super Danger threatens the Teen Force. Join the famed Herculoids in their new battles to preserve peace on the planet Quasar. Now get set for 60 laser blasting minutes of action, adventure, fun on Space Stars. These are the inner worlds, civilized space. A welcome sight for the Space Ghost team that's been out on extended patrol. It's a good thing we can stop on barracks for supplies. We're out of almost everything. <laughs> yes, now I think we are out of everything, Jays. Something on the sensors, and close. I'll put it on the screen. It's too small to be a planet and too big for a ship. And it's on a collision course with Ferrix's sun. I'm getting some life form readings. Whatever that is, those people are going to get the sunburn of their lives. We'd better get down there. It looks like somebody took a city and put engines on it. But the sensors say those engines haven't been used for thousands of years. And where are all the people? Nothing's moving down there. There's an airlock. Let's look around. Whoever lived here must have really been tall. <laughs> Don't worry, Blip. It's just a street cleaner. <laughs> Had a boy, Flip. You tell him. Jan, Jace, over here. None of the lights are working, except over there. But why only there? That's what we're going to find out. Help! Someone help me! What's wrong, Blip? Another street sweeper? 
He's found something. Lead the way, Blip. Let me give you a hand, Blip. You are space demons. No, no, we're friends. Who are you? I am Jeff. I came up to play. There's no room in the lower levels. Is that where your people are? Yes. No one lives on the surface now. The computer god has made it dark all the time. Jeff, your city will fall into the sun unless its engines are restarted. But we do not know how to run the engines. The computer god does that. Do you have a leader, someone we can talk to? Yes, the city elders. I will take you to them. Are these the ones? They are the space demon invaders. Bring them to me. No, they're friends. They saved me. Don't worry, Jeff. Let's vanish, kids. My invisible powers aren't working. Nothing's working. Take them to the computer temple. Oh, computer, tell us what to do with the space demons. They're not using any of the computer's controls. They must have been traveling for so long that no one alive remembers how to run the computer. Hear me, my people. The demon invaders must be destroyed. Lead them to the city's energy converter. But if your city's course toward the sun isn't changed, the city and all its people will be destroyed. Hear me, my people. The demon invaders must be destroyed. Prepare them for sacrifice. <laughs> The computer is so old, it's broken down. We've got to reprogram it or we'll never get those engines started. If we can get out, that is. We'll find a way. I don't feel like being the main course for a computer. Space Ghost, wait! That nullifier ray they used on you wears off after a little while. Here. The demons are escaping. The demons are escaping. Come on! <laughs> Our powers are back! That looks make us so scarce. That's the computer core. The force field is up. Not for long. Jace, here's the course control for the city. If we can program in a new course. Uh-oh, we'd better hurry. I guess I'll have to cool things down a bit. Jace, how's it coming? I'm not sure. Sure. Look out, Chase! It had a self-destruct built in to prevent tampering. We can't use the computer to restart the engines. Now what do we do? The city's getting close to the sun. Try and change the city's course with a Phantom Cruiser. Come on! <laughs> to beam on. Will it work? The city's so big. We have to try. If the engines burn out, we'll fall in too. Keep trying. We need more power. Phantom Cruiser, this is Electra. I got an explosion reading over here. What's going on? This city is falling into the sun unless we change its course. Maybe together we can do something. Come on. Come on! Just because I've never lifted a city before doesn't mean I can't do it now. There is no more power available. We're at the limit right now. Then it's up to Electra. Just a little more. Come on, Electra! It's working! All right! We did it! We did it! <laughs> 
Good work, Electra. Well, I, I did have a little help. <laughs> Thank you all for what you have done. But none of us knows how to repair our ancestor's computer so it will work and run the city efficiently. I can stay and help you with that. And we can get to Varix and pick up those supplies. Right, Blip? <laughs> I think Blip's found all the supplies he's interested in. Space Magic with Space Ace and Astro. Now I got you, alien. <sighs> okay, Astro, save the bloodhound business for later. I've got an alien of my own to show you in this box. Huh? Oh, boy. Of course, it's just a baby alien. But you've never seen one quite like it before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you with my little trick, Astro. You see, the baby alien was just my finger, disguised with makeup and stuck up through this hole in the bottom of the box. Now to play a trick on my buddy Dipper. <laughs> hey, Space Ace, look at what... Well, Astro, seems like you finally found that alien you were looking for. Uh, uh, hi, alien. C -c Care to say hello to, to your uh, baby w w w brother? And now, today's space fact. It is certainly a beautiful night, isn't it? Look at all those stars. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds as if Gloop and Gleep would like to know why the stars shine. Do either of you have an answer? Maybe stars shine because they're made of gold or sparkling jewels. <laughs> no, Dorno, I'm afraid that's not the reason. Stars are simply suns, made up mostly of hydrogen. They're much like our own. And like our sun, a star's surface is a vast ocean of hot vapors. Stars send their light into space where it eventually reaches the planets. We see the stars as distant points of light, and because of the different temperature mixing in our atmosphere, the stars seem to twinkle. Why can't I see the stars in the daytime? Because the great light from our sun makes the stars seem to vanish altogether. Well, that should explain to Gleep and Gloop what... Looks like Gleep will be seeing some stars tonight. We now return to our program. In the depths of space, a fierce battle takes place between the oppressive Uglor and the plucky galactic freedom fighters. The target is Krissa, the young president of Solvanite, one of the few worlds that resists Uglor's tyranny. What a pleasant surprise, Krissa. How lovely you will look in a prison cell on the planet Maldor. You don't frighten me, Uglor. Do your worst. Oh, I shall, my dear. I shall. The Galactic Freedom Fighters say that President Chris is being held on Maldor. Maldor? Uglor's prison world? The most awful planet in the galaxy. Uglor finally got his hands on <laughs> it. <laughs> now, here's my plan. We'll allow ourselves to be captured, find Krissa, and escape. Simple. Yeah, simple. Except no one's ever escaped from Maldor. Yeah, the odds aren't exactly in our favor. I feel so heavy, like I'm made of lead. Maldor is a heavy gravity planet, just another feature that makes escape impossible. I must not be getting enough iron. We'd better conserve our energy and powers as much as possible. That's fine with me, if it is with them. Great work, Moleculad. Now to add fire to the canyon. 
That's giving him the old hot foot. Well, that should get us arrested. I don't think that's the welcome wagon. By order of Uglor, Lord of the Universe, I arrest you. Keep an eye on them, Gort. Special prisoners. Say, Gort, a friend of ours is in here somewhere. Chrissa. You know where she is? Files indicate she is not on Maldor. Just as I thought, she's not... She's not here. Negative, she is still on Uglor's starship. Uh, there must have been some basic flaw in my plan. You got us into this mess, kid. Now what'll we do? Report status of mission. The team force has been captured, as you instructed. Good. I will be on Maldor within the hour. Yes, Master. You were the perfect bait, Chrissa. Uglor, in heaven's name, what are you doing? My anti-gravity belt will protect me from Maldor's crushing gravity. And at last, the team force shall fall by my hand. <laughs> The problem isn't how to get out of this cell. I can squeeze right out of here and cut the power on that energy barrier. Yeah, but how to do it without having her regard in the joint in our backs? <laughs> Look who's here! <laughs> Uglord's on his way here? Then this whole thing was a trap for us right from the start. Electra, if you could create a diversion on the other side of the compound. You've got it! Help! Fire! Fire! There they go! And here I go! Boy, talk about a tight fit! And this gravity isn't helping matters any. This is like running in quicksand! Speaking of quick, look who's coming! If they want to catch us so badly. Send reinforcements. There's a riot in cell block nine. I know it's a cliche, but I'd say they've got us surrounded. There's one chance. If I can telekinetically increase the gravity. Oh, that's all we need. You'll see. I hope. This better work before gravity crushes us. <sighs> this way out! Using all that energy really knocked me for a loop. The rocket cycles are just beyond that ridge. See? We'll be off Maldor in no time. Wrong, you flippin' fools! We don't stand a chance. The gravity doesn't seem to bother him. How much you want to bet it's that weird belt he's got on? The belt, Electra, the belt! Now to finish you all! <laughs> the gravity! I can't move! Ah, so, you think you'll beat me? I'll show you. I'll destroy my ship with Chris aboard! The self-destruct sequence has begun. You cannot reach it in time! We'll see about that. By order of Uglor, Lord of the Universe, you are under arrest. Unhand me, you mechanical morons! I am Uglor, Lord of the Universe! That is what they all say. Come along. Looks like Ugly's guards have all split. Alert! 60 seconds to destruct. We're never gonna find Chris in time. Help! Help! Did you hear that? Let me out of here! Need a lift? The Team Force! Thank heaven! Alert! 30 seconds to destruct! Molecules, do your stuff! Oh, thank you! 
Uh oh. I hope one of us has a bright idea. Bright is right. I'm gonna need more speed to bust that outer wall. Fifteen seconds to destruct. No time for fancy tricks, kid. I'll bet plenty of sparks fly when the Overseer finds out who his latest prisoner is. Let's hope he doesn't find out for a long time. for a space mystery with the Herculoids. The stars are really shining tonight, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, Wigu. They're too far away for you to touch. <laughs> and too far away for you to fly to, Zok. But I know how you feel. I'd give anything if I could reach... Hey, let's go find out where it's landing. No need to hide from me. Come where I can see you better. Who are you? Where are you from? I am a friend, and I come from there. That twinkling blue planet. A paradise world filled with great wonders where every wish can be made to come true. If you and your friends would like to see my world, I can take you there right now, if you like. It sounds wonderful, but what do you think? <laughs> Come now, enter my ship, and we will take off immediately for the Paradise Planet. Keep away from that ship! Zark, hold that alien! He lied to us! There is no Paradise Planet! How can Dorno be so certain? Stay tuned and find out. And now, the answer to today's space mystery. You see, Father, I knew the alien was lying when he said he came from that blue planet. Because planets don't twinkle. Only stars do. You're right. You were all to be my captives. There. That should hold him until the interspace police arrive. Looks like they were already on his trail, Father. We now return to our program. The snake Riders, an incredible sight even to the Herculoids, living a thousand years into the future on the primitive planet of Quasar. Where had the Snake Riders come from? And what are they doing in the peaceful valley of the Herculoids? You're not worried, are you, Gleep? Then let's dive, Gleep. After you. <laughs> Gleep, what's wrong? Tell Xandor! Gundro! We're ready for more! Good, Tundro! Now, Igo! Zuck. All right, 
Zark, that's enough. That's enough. Good. Our bridge will soon be finished. Father! Father! You won't believe what we saw at the pool. Two strange men with long forked tongues on huge serpents. The snake riders. You know of them? Yes. They live on the far side of Quasar. But to get here, they would have to cross the Great Boiling Sea. That's not possible. Take Zok. Warn Tara. Don't leave the tree house for any reason. Yes, Father. Go, Zok. <coughs> now, my friends, we must find those snake riders. Come. Mother! Where can she be? My word! Dandor! 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 I hear Tara scream. I don't know, Ego, but we must find her. That way. Come. <laughs> she was here, Ego. <laughs> Here are the tracks of the snake riders. They go toward the great mountain. Father! Father! <coughs> Father! Mother is gone! We know Dorno. The snake riders have her. Come, follow on Zok. Greetings, Tara. Greetings, I am Uraeus. King of the Snake Riders. Snake Riders? But they're from the other side of Quasar. How did you cross the Great Boiling Sea? The Great Boiling Sea is no longer an obstacle. We came through a passage in the planet's center, and now I will rule all of Quasar. Never. Xandor will stop you. That is where you are wrong, dear. Xandor can never stop me. <laughs> no sign of him that way, Father. Nor did we see them. Well done, Tundro. Igu, move the rock. Gordo, stay here with Gloop and Gleep. Watch for more snake riders. Be careful, Father. <laughs> It's not a serpent eagle, it's an empty snake skin. These giant snakes shed their old skins and grow new ones every year. Eagle, fetch Dorno, quickly. That empty snake skin, Zark can fool the sharpest eye. The rest is up to you, Dorno. Yes, father. When Tara is free, safe. Then we will attack. Yes, father. Go, Zark. Good luck, son. Good work. 
Mark Pickle. <laughs> Safe, Tara. That is more important. But the underground passage, it must be sealed, so they can never return. Yes, and we must act quickly. Igu, we're ready. Everyone back. Ready, Zok? Kondro! <laughs> So the passage beneath the boiling sea is closed forever. Uraeus and the Snake Riders can never return to the Valley of the Herculoid. Coming up next on Space Stars. Space Ghost! A cosmic intruder matches firepower with the Space Ghost team in the outer reaches of space. Then, Astro and the Space Mutts are off on another mission of mischief, tackling one of the galaxy's most unusual villains. And the super space star heroes unite to save the universe from destruction. Next on Space Stars. From the Intergalactic Code Center, Space Code. Hi there, Earth kids. Space Ghost here. Later on, I'll be teaming with the Herculoids to fight a fiendish plot. And today's Space Code will tell you who's behind it. The secret message is 21, 7, 12, 15, 18. Better write it down. Here's a clue. You can count on the alphabet being involved. <laughs> Okay, Earth Kids, get to work on the code. I'll be back later with another clue. Now I better help Blip with his paperwork. Can you crack today's secret space code? Find out later on Space Stars. We now return to our program. Space Ghost, Jan, Jace, and Blip are traveling to a distant world near the galactic rim for a well-earned rest but they will soon find that this paradise planet has some very strange inhabitants. Space Coast sure has some weird ideas about having fun. What's weird about a picnic, Jace? Well, it's not the picnic. It's just cooking that gets me. Remember the stew we made the other night? My stomach's still paying for that. And besides, this is supposed to be a vacation, and here we are looking for firewood. I thought this planet was deserted. Maybe the tourists finally discovered it. D do you see what I see? I hope not. Inviso power! As we were warned, they are using devilish power. Dismount! <coughs> Jeez, what... <coughs> Our cover's blown! Ow. Hey, come on! Let me out of here! Chase! We have your brother! For his safety, I recommend you surrender immediately! Oh, yeah? I'll never surrender! Second thought, maybe I will stick around. 
don't you think we should give Space Ghost a buzz just to let him know we're having trouble finding firewood? I already tried. That white powder jammed our radios. <laughs> Believe this. You know, camping starting to sound better by the minute. Flip, what's wrong? <laughs> hmm. Well, whatever it is, Jan and Jace are in trouble, right? Mirage in your wall! Hi -ya! Well, there goes our picnic. A robot samurai. It's a sense that wherever he's going, I'll find Jan and Chase. Come on, Blip. Just as I thought, behind every great robot, there stands a man, a toy maker. Well, well, well. I've been expecting you, Space Ghost. I thought you would have learned your lesson by now. I'm a slow learner, Toymaker. Well, perhaps you'll do better in the future. <laughs> Blip, do you get the feeling we've just been had? Space Ghost. Hey, are you two all right? Sure. Toymaker has been swell. You're a turkey, Space Ghost. Hey, either you two have been taking mega vitamins or you're both robots. Toy maker, fake twins, and a fake ship. A perfect trap. And Space Ghost walked right into it. When your robot duplicates return with those wristbands, I'll unlock the secret of how they work. Space Ghost will never live to see how I use that power. That asteroid belt should do very nicely. <laughs> the controls won't respond, Blip. We'd better get out of here. He may have my wristbands, but I've still got my strength. Can you stop the other ship? I can cut the engines. Maybe that'll buy Space Ghost a little time. So that's why Toymaker wants the wristbands. An army of robot space ghosts. Run for it! Space ghosts! Space ghost! Listen, there, there's a whole army of robots. Army or no army, this time the toy maker has had it. But, but, but this is an army of space ghosts. Robot space ghost. What do you want, robot? The twins have escaped. They are at the rear of the ship. All forces to the rear of the ship at once. Stop the twins. Here, take these to lab three for further examinations. Thanks, toy maker. Space ghost. In the flesh. Guards! You don't play fair, toy maker, but I'll be back. You got the wristbands. It's good to have them back. What next? You three nab toy maker. I'll take care of the robots.
Toymaker's all locked up. Hey, I'm starved. Anyone for some processed food? Oh, that stuff will rot your stomach, Jace. Let me cook you a nice... No, 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 no. That, that's okay, Space Ghost. Really? Ah, uh, you have a lot to learn about the finer things of life, Jace. He even has a lot to learn about the poorer things of life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, maybe we should have saved one of those Space Ghost robots for a souvenir. No thanks. One bad cook is enough. So the toy maker's evil dreams are thwarted once again by the one and only Space Ghost! Space Code, part two. Lep, a plot is afoot to destroy our ghost planet and the Herculoids planet. Our secret code tells who's behind it. 21, 7, 12, 15, 18. And here's your last clue. If you've got your letter, you've got our number. Now hurry, kids, there isn't much time. As Uglor's deadly warship cruises over planet Eurus, he gives last-minute instructions to Puglor, his upstart nephew. Listen well, Puglor. It's time to prove your apehood. My laser glare and simian strength are now yours to use for the next 12 hours. The resort planet of Solar Springs is ripe for conquest. Succeed, and you'll rule the universe by my side. Bill and... Don't worry, Uncle. I'll make you proud. Meanwhile, at the small resort planet of Solar Springs, Space Ace and the Space Mutts have settled in for a well-earned vacation. Now remember, Space Mutts, whoever stays up the longest wins. No contest, no contest. We're gonna win, right, Kaz? Uh, I don't know, Dip. This water looks pretty deep. Okay, Astro, give me everything you've got. Right, Acey, whatever you say. Here's the all-purpose life belt. New and improved infrared micro pulley. Multi-purpose solar sound simulator. No, Astro, what are you doing? And here's the Astro Anvil. Wait a cotton picking minute. Guaranteed to sink any ship. Something tells me this is going to be a long vacation. Attention, people of Solar Springs. I am your new ruler. That's Puglor. <laughs> Puglor? What's that pipsqueak banana head doing around here? You have exactly 12 hours to surrender peacefully, or suffer the consequences. What are we gonna do, AC? Huh? Huh? We're gonna stop that little monkey before he goes ape. Come on! You're gonna do exactly what I say. Understand, Mr. Director? There's a little TV speech I wanna make. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Well, whatever you say, Mr. Puglor. Is his ship space? The TV station. Hmm, wonder what he's doing there. Well, whatever it is, he's up to no good. Space Mutts, let's drop in and watch the show. You're on the air, Mr. Puglor. Greetings. I am Puglor, your new ruler. And these are my demands. Easy does it, Astro. No accidents this time. Remember? No problem, AC boy. This landing's gonna be perfect. Absolutely perfect. Would you believe a not-so-perfect landing, AC boy? Space Ace, what are you doing here? Well, I'm not here for your autograph, Puglor. That's right, Punklor. You're under arrest. Not this time. Ta-ta, Space Case. I'll do what is out of here, Astro. No problem, AC boy. Here we go. Put on the Ace heat sensor, Astro, and set it for eight. We've got to find Puglor. Roger, AC. Okay, when that light goes on, we'll know where Puglor is. That's it. The Times newspaper building. Going down, AC. Astro, wait, wait. Just had a brainstorm. I'll sneak down with my jetpack while you, uh, land the ship. Yeah, yeah, you got it, AC. I'll meet you guys inside. Meanwhile, inside the Galaxy Times building, Puglor is preparing a special late edition. 
my very first press release. Uncle Uglo will be so proud. Don't count on it, Uglor. Ha! You're no match for me, Space Ace. I have Uglor's greatest powers. You'll never take me, Space Case. Never. Hey, AC boy! You nerdy mutts! Well, nobody's perfect. Now that you're all here, I'll get you out of my fur once and for all. Oh, what's happening? You're losing your powers, Puglor. My laser glare and simian strength are now yours for 12 hours. 12 hours. 12 hours. Hang it up, Puglor. You are history. No way, Jose. You'll have to catch me first. My powers may be gone, but my brain is in. Uh, hey, what's going on? Hold on, Space Mutts. Yeah. Oh. Boy, oh boy, that pug law really makes me mad. Yeah. Nice work, guys. Now let's get pug law. With those space clowns out of the way, I can continue my conquest of Solar Springs. Okay, Astro, come up underneath Puglor's ship. I want to surprise him. No problem, AC. Uh-oh, here we go again. Okay, Astro, put on the brakes. What the? The game's over, Puglor. You're under arrest. We're not perfect, but we get the job done. Let's go home, Astro. Let's go home, Cosmo. Let's go home, Dipper. Let's go home, Astro. Roger. Oh, now this is what a vacation should be. Peaceful, quiet, relaxing. Yeah, yeah, AC boy. Yeah! Well, huh? so much for the peace and quiet. Yeah! It could be worse, couldn't it? And now, the final space code clue. 21, 7, 12, 15, 18. Number the alphabet 1 through 26. Now each number really stands for a letter. Full speed to the ghost planet blip. Did you track the code, Earth kids? Find out next on Space Stars. We now return to our program. It is night on Ghost Planet and all is peaceful. The stars move in their ordained courses, or do they? That star is Cygnus, and that one's Aldebaran. And there's a comet. Oh, it's so beautiful. Jace, do the constellations look strange to you? Well, what do you mean? I think they've moved. <laughs> Chase? Sure, come on. We, we better get back. Space Ghost, what's going on? Somehow Ghost Planet is on a collision course with Quasar. Quasar? That's where the Herculoids live. And that's where we're going. We've got to stop this before it's too late. <laughs> At this very moment, aboard a sinister starship, the dreaded tyrant Uglor monitors the situation. How long before the collision, Commander? Less than two hours, sire. Excellent. And there is no way to stop it. First the stars begin to move, and now this. What does it mean, Xandor? I do not know, Tara, but we will find out. Father, look! Cruiser. Good. Perhaps Space Ghost has some answers. Come. All I know, Xandor, is that some force has changed the orbits of our planets and put them on a collision course. Look out! <laughs> the change in orbit is causing all this. And it'll get worse. But how do we find out what's causing it? Look! It 
Prince Electra of the Keen Force. Listen carefully, my friends. It is difficult for me to transmit over so great a distance for long. Uglor plans to eliminate all of you by destroying both worlds. Then he will be free to conquer your galaxy. Gene Force cannot help. Another mission. Watch for Comet. What did she say? I don't know. Something about a comet. Maybe, but we don't have time to wait. We've got work to do. Our heroes move quickly to save their worlds. One group heads towards Quasar's North Pole, where an ancient advanced race once built a planetary defense system, while another group returns to Ghost Planet to strengthen the force field. Uglor could be anywhere. We've got to find him, Sandor. The others must delay the collision long enough for us to find him. There they are! Those are the biggest rockets I've ever seen. Let's hope they're big enough to slow Quasar down. Come on. Those must be the controls. From the looks of it, they've been frozen solid for centuries. Sock, can you thaw things out for us? <laughs> Quietly, Sock. We don't want to attract a snow scorpion. What's a snow scorpion? Yikes! I had to ask. Gloop. But unless we can get to that control panel, this whole planet is doomed! Jam, look out! <laughs> now we'll never get to the force field in time. Yes, we will. Igu, Glee, let's get to work. <laughs> We're running out of time fast. She must have a nest nearby. Zach, try your lasers. I've got an idea. Zach, stay ready. Hey, over here. Come on, baby. There you go. Now, Zach. By the time she digs herself out, we'll be long gone. If these controls work... Tara, look! Let's go. It's going to get hot around here. Now what? That depends on Uglor. There's no telling what he... There. Horse fields are up. Now we... Quasar and Ghost Planet remain on a collision course, and suddenly our heroes have mysteriously vanished. What evil scheme has Uglo devised now? Space Ghost, there! Electra said something about a comet. You think it's worth a check. My instruments indicate it's artificial. There are power rays coming from it. And that's Uglo's stronghold. We'll go invisible. So far, so good. I wonder how the others are doing. What happened? I don't know. We were just flying along. And you were captured by my teleport array. So here you are. And here you will stay to watch your worlds collide. Observe, my helpless friends. There is less than an hour before the collision. You won't get away with this, Uglor. Xandor and Space Ghost will stop you. They will pose me no more problem than you did. Anybody have an idea? Just might. How about it, Zock? <laughs> Go, Gleep! <laughs> Work, guys. Let's go. 
Uglor's scent is strong now. He is in that room. Three minutes before ghost planet and quasar collide. Greetings, Uglor. Long time no see, Uglor. Gods! Gods! We gave them the day off, Uglor. Why don't you join them? I can beat you all! Keep him busy. I've got to stop those planets. <laughs> What? I've got to reverse the polarity. No! Come on! Come on! You did it, Space Ghost! Come on, let's get out of here! <laughs> Stay close. I'll put up my force field. The comet's out of control. Uglor must have destroyed the circuits with that power bolt. Anyone see what happened to Uglor? I lost him in the smoke. It's going to hit Quasar's sun. Look. What is that? Space raft. Probably Uglor and his crew. Well, they'll think twice before coming around the Milky Way again. Do not be so sure, Jace. But if Uglor does come back, the Herculoids will be ready. And so will Space Ghost. And so the civilized worlds of the galaxy rest easy, because no menace can prevail over the combined might of Space Ghost, the Teen Force, and the Herculoids. Vehicles each sold separately with a figure. I hate it when they get away. Wildcat, calling Goliath 1. Tracker here. Then a Manta got away. 10-4 clutch. You copy Goliath 2? Loud and clear. Position transport. I'm leaving the race. Roger, Matt. Launch Goliath. Ready missile launcher. There's Manta. Mass. <laughs> Fire. Where illusion is the ultimate weapon. There's the Autobot that saves me. But where are the Autobots? Who cares? The Decepticons are gone. Oh, no, look! It's Omega Supreme! Introducing the Autobots Omega Supreme Defense Base. It comes with a motorized tank with flashing turret lights. Decepticons! Counter-attack Omega Supreme! Transformers! <laughs> Omega Supreme will stop them! Robots in disguise! Omega Supreme is invincible! Transformers! The Transformers sold separately. Batteries not included from Hasbro. It is the 31st century. Ulysses killed the giant Cyclops when he rescued the children and his son Telemachus. But the ancient gods of Olympus are angry and threaten a terrible revenge. Mortals, you defy the gods? I sentence you to travel among unknown stars. Until you find the kingdom of Hades, your bodies will stay as lifeless as stones. Ulysses, navigational conditions require increase in automatic force. What does that mean, Shirka? Explain what's happening. A sharp increase in external gravitation at approximately 30 seconds from our present position. A planet in our vicinity. We mustn't miss the slightest opportunity. Begin operations to approach the planet. Yes, Ulysses.
Distance 50,000 kilometers, visual display confirmation. Look how beautiful these flowers are. Look at them. Look, Numenor, they're just like the ones on Zatra. That's the same sweet smell, if only you could see them. Our world is so far away, I can hardly remember its name. It's so nice here, Numenor. I wish that you could feel what I'm feeling. I'm going to weave you a garland of flowers. They smell so good. Planet with an advanced civilization, nevertheless uninhabited. No sign of life. No sign of life, you say, Shurka? Devoid of life, but the presence of a vital energy impossible to analyze. We have to find out more. Odyssey now in orbital position. planet is one great city. An immense city, but completely uninhabited, not a soul in sight. Shurka, I need additional information. I have dispatched a research probe. Here are the first results, Ulysses. It's a hospital planet. A hospital planet? What do you mean? Hospital installations cover almost the entire planet. Shurka, what kind of equipment have you been able to discover? Medical equipment designed for reanimation. A giant reanimation hospital. Are you sure of your findings? Yes, and it's enormous. By the great galaxy, in the heart of Olympus, and now we've found it, we've got a chance of bringing our companions back to life. Careful, Ulysses. We are not completely out of danger. According to my data, strong vital energy force still present. It's worth taking the risk. I can't afford to draw back now. Bringing my companions back to life is more important than our own immediate safety. I will carry out the necessary maneuvers. You found something, Father. Hmm? It's that planet I see on the screen behind you, isn't it? On that planet, Telemachus, there may be the means to bring our companions back to life. Is it possible? You come with me, Telemachus. And you, Nono, go and find Yumi. Tell her what we're doing. You will both wait here for my instructions. Hello. Yumi! Oh, it's you, Nono. What would you say if I told you that they've left us all alone? They have gone, but where? Ulysses says on this planet there may be a way to bring our companions back to life. Oh, that'd be wonderful, Nono. Do you really think so?
Shirka and Information Link. We are about to explore the reanimation buildings. The electrodynamic reanimation theater appears to be functional. What does he mean? Reanimation, Shirka? This planet is one enormous hospital. Its reanimation facilities may enable us to bring our comrades back to life. Did you hear that? No, no. I must go to that planet. Numenor is my brother, and we have to wake him up no matter what. Hey, wait. That's not been authorized. I must take my brother down there right now. Come along and help me. Hey, wait a second. It's not authorized. Ulysses said we should wait right here. Wait, always wait. He's my brother. It's a strange place. Stay alert. I'd still like to know what that energy transmission is all about. If people were living here once, where did they all go? Be careful. Come on. Right. Yumi, no, you can't. Stop that and help me quickly. No! It's to save him, you understand? Save him! Oh, hurry, please! But I'm not supposed to, I can't! Father, look! Is this a reanimation unit, do you think? It may be. I don't know. Let's look farther on. Father, look at that at our feet! It's very strange. I didn't see it when we landed. Well, maybe we just didn't notice. Let's go. Come on, hurry up. I just hope nothing goes wrong. I know I can save him. I know I can. Ready? We're off. Thank you, Nono. Oh. Welcome, enter human beings, have no fear. Welcome to you, strangers, whoever you may be. There is nothing you can do for me, for I am no more than a flickering picture. But learn from me, and you can do a great deal for the rest of the universe. How? Do you understand anything of all this? But first, you must know of the dangers that lie in wait for you if you remain on this planet. discovered ways of curing every sickness in Olympus by using the very energy contained in Olympus itself, even to restoring life to those who had lost it. The energy of Olympus. Now I understand why we were not able to analyze it. But we saved too many lives to suit the gods, and they began to lose their power, so they threw down some seeds on the ground, which have a fearful power. can detect even the slightest presence, and when they do, they grow at incredible speed and destroy those who cannot escape. They are everywhere and always seek for signs of life. You are living creatures, and no doubt they have already sensed your presence. Flee now, strangers, and do not return until you can defeat them. 
mother! By the great galaxy, he's right. We mustn't stay here one more minute. Come on. There, there it is. I can feel it. He's going to come back to life. Oh, all these machines. Look, an instruction chart. Can you read that? Yes, it's in universal language. It's easy to understand. No, no, go and get Numenor while I read it. Oh, it's wonderful. My brother's going to come back to life again. By the <gasps> belt of Orion. <laughs> this planet at once. Careful! Quickly, Telemachus! we came down in the middle of a garden. I'm going to pick a flower for Yubi. Whoops, what's the matter with it? It's crazy, this plant. I'll tell Ulysses about it. Very lucky that we found out in time. Shurka, stand by. We're coming aboard. Information update. Yumi and Nono left the ship with Numenor. Oh, by the great galaxy. Calling Yumi. Ulysses calling Yumi. Come in. We must definitely find them, and fast. We'd better go in different directions. Are you ready, Telemachus? Yes, Father, I'm ready. Are you sure you're sure this isn't dangerous? I'm sure. The only thing that's very important, once the treatment begins, it can't be interrupted. Otherwise, according to the instructions, he might die. After two or three treatments, he'll come back to consciousness. I know it. Dear brother, wake up, please. I need you so much. I miss you. sign on your side? No, plants have covered everything. Hard to see. Keep looking. We have to find them. Yes, Father. It's working. His body's warming it up. It better work, because otherwise... Oh, what's happening? 
happening? What is it? Uh, uh, I don't expect me to know. No, no, go see what it is. Please, go on. Why does it always have to be me? I can't leave now. My brother's life depends oh. on it. I knew that I wasn't going to like this. Oh, by the great galaxy! Father, Father, right! I think I've found them! I'm pretty sure that they're there, but the plants have destroyed a part of the building! A reanimation unit! They're climbing inside, quick! Cursing comets! The reanimation unit! I'm coming! All those flowers! They'll kill them! I have to... No, Telemachus! It's too dangerous! It would have terrible troubles. Look, the treatment's almost over. Just a little while longer and it's finished. Oh, too late, Yumi! Watch out! Time to lose.
dangers that lie in wait for you if you remain on this planet. This planet. This planet. This planet. This planet. you risk your lives for me, but I wanted so much to revive him. I understand. I too long to revive all our faithful companions. But you should have trusted me a little more. Forgive me, Ulysses. We must never give up hope. Stay united, my children, and be confident. Together we'll triumph and escape from Olympus. I give you my word of honor. Nestle's creamy milk chocolate with crunchies tastes just as good as it sounds. Chocolate is crunches when it crunches. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. Hello, Fukada san here with very interesting cooking tip. Did you know real lemon made from real fresh lemons? Oh yes, real lemon tastes just like real fresh lemons. Very good, very easy to use. You can use real lemon wherever you use fresh lemons. In cooking and baking, or many places. Can even use to make nice lemon pie. That's lemon. Yes, lemon. Try real lemon wherever you use fresh lemons.
Come on, get the lead out of your web, Spidey. It's five minutes to midnight, and I was supposed to meet Betty Brandt at the Daily Bugle's New Year's party hours ago. If I don't get there quick, it'll be the second time this week I've stood her up. And poor old Peter will be on our enemies list for life. Oh, no. It's the Black Cat. And she's headed for the New Year's party in J.J.'s office. If I follow her to see what she's up to, Betty will be through with me for sure. I'll oh, give it up, Webhead. You never could turn down a date with danger. I can't imagine where in the world Peter is. I'd forget about Parker, Betty. He probably dressed up as Al Capone and got thrown in jail. Hmm, <laughs> this is quite a newsworthy event. Every big wig in New York is here tonight. And that means diamond necklaces, gold watches, silver bracelets, not to mention plenty of cash. A fitting prize for the greatest cat burglar in the world. But really, don't you feel the mayor has made a complete monkey out of himself lately? Madam, I, I am the mayor. Oh, <laughs> well. Quiet, quiet. Quiet, everybody! It's almost midnight! Five, four, three, two, one! Happy New Year! Thanks. Uh, happy New Year to you, too. Any minute now, and I'll have cleaned out everyone at this party. For you, Black Cat, the party's over. Well, if it isn't New York's swinging wall crawler, how about I call you later? Here, kitty, kitty. Come to Spidey. Don't come any closer, Spider-Man, or you'll find out just how mean this little kitty really is. Gee, if you're that dangerous, I guess I should just put my hands up in the air and give up. Just a minute. What do you think you're doing, Spider-Man? I'll have you arrested for, for ruining my party, disturbing my guests. This guest of yours is the Black Cat, cat burglar par excellence. She's looted everyone at your party. Here you go, JJ. You can hand these little trinkets back to your guests now. All right, Black Beauty, we got a date with the chief of police. Don't think I believe this for a minute, Webhead. It's one of your tricks. It's a good thing I came equipped for every emergency. Hey. We'll let the cat out of the bag. Who do you think, Sticky Fingers? <laughs> Happy landings! Hey, is that any way to treat me on our first date? Got guts. You wouldn't catch me doing that without a spider line. Uh, hi, Betty. Well, aren't you a little late, Peter? The party was last night, remember? Gee, uh, I'm sorry, Betty. I never mind the excuses. That's the last time you'll stand me up. Oh, give me another chance. I'll, uh, I'll make a New Year's resolution. I'll never do it again. Scout's honor. In fact, I'll take you to lunch today to prove it, okay? Well, oh, okay. Parker! What's the matter with you? Why weren't you at my party last night? Uh, hi, JJ. Well, uh, you might say I was there in spirit. Boulder Dash! Thanks to you, I didn't get pictures of Spider-Man and that, that feline fiasco, the Black Cat. Is that any way to talk about a lady? But I'll forgive you this time, honey. Yeah. Don't you try to threaten me, you alley cat. Get out of my office before I call the cops. I just figured, seeing as how you hate Spider-Man so much, you might be interested in how I'm going to ruin his reputation. Well, now that, that begins to sound interesting. Why don't you just forget about those things I said to you and, 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 and just tell me what you have in mind? All you have to do is print my challenge on the front page of the Daily Bugle, stating that the black cat is going to steal the million-dollar Maltese mouse. And if Spider-Man tries to stop me... You're wasting your time, black cat. Spider-Man will make catnip out of you. 
Say, you're kind of cute for a wise guy. Too bad I don't have time to pursue this relationship. Well, don't just stand there, Parker. There's a story I want you to cover. Show him the details, Miss Brent. The famous Maltese mouse is arriving from France at Dock 13 in a few hours. It's going to be displayed on the Johnny Griffin Show tonight before a live national audience. And be sure to get plenty of pictures, especially the ones that make Spider-Man look bad. the million bucks! They're loading the Maltese mouse into that armored truck. The black cat could show up at any moment. I'll just tag along and play watchdog. I think I'll check out this diamond-eyed mouse sculpture and see what I'm wasting my time about. Sure is a big crate for a little mouse. Huh? Those are the strangest looking mice I've ever seen. What's this? When the Spider-Man's away, the black cat will play. Oh, great. I've been had. This armor truck is a decoy set up by the black cat. It's back to the dock before the black cat steals that Maltese thingamawatt. Mr. Goldblum, safer than a fish in a net. The Maltese mouse. The dock's just ahead. Oh, no. I'm going to miss my lunch date with Betty. I better call her quick. Just my luck, someone's using the phone booth. Say, where have I seen that guy before? Well, no time to worry about it now. Hello, Betty? This is Peter. Look, uh, this black cat story is starting to get real hot, and I'm uh, afraid I'm gonna have to miss our lunch date. I thought you were through standing me up, Peter. Honestly, Betty, this is the last time. Tell you what, why don't I meet you at the Johnny Griffin Show tonight? Well, I don't know. And afterwards, I'll take you out to dinner. Okay, Peter, I'll give you one more chance. Great. See you later, Betty. Now that I've made that date, I hope I haven't missed my date with a black cat. I'll just stick my trusty camera up here in case I do anything so spectacular it deserves a place in history. Well, everything looks in order, Captain. The Maltese mouse is in perfect condition. Real nice of you gentlemen to keep it in such good shape for me. I wouldn't want to steal anything that had a flaw in it. Why, it's the black cat! Stop her! Okay. It's time for the black cat to create a blackout. Gee, I haven't had so many cute guys after me since I dropped out of high school. Quick! We've got to get out of here before she gets the Maltese mouse. Oh, no! It's... it's gone! Don't worry, fellas. I'll take good care of it. That is, until I take its diamond eyes out and sell them on the black market. <laughs> Watch where you're going, lady. Lady, nothing. That was the black cat. Well, hello there, black beauty. Looks like your bragging news headlines should have been printed in the funny pages. I told you before, it's dangerous to let the black cat cross your path. Gee, I forgot. I guess the only thing I consider unlucky is spilled web fluid. I am curious about one thing, though. What made you decide to steal the Maltese mouse? Careful. Didn't you ever hear the expression, curiosity killed the Spider-Man? Not even my spider strength can break me free of this. Oh, great. It looks like I don't have to worry about drowning. That ship's propeller's gonna get me first. It's no use. I can't get free. I've only got one chance. 
And if I miscalculate, the local fish will be eating spidey hors d'oeuvres. I never knew smog could taste so good. That feline finagler is getting away. Spider-Man, you're alive. Right. Cats aren't the only ones with nine lives. In that case, there's one down and eight to go. <laughs> She's beginning to get on my nerves. I've had all I'm gonna take of your pussy footing, sweetheart. This'll keep one black cat I know from straying. And I'll just separate the cat and the mouse. You underestimate me, Spidey. Oh, no! I wish I didn't have to be so rough on him. He's so cute. Whoa, boy! Time to make like a banana and split. Yeesh. I've done some pretty strange things in my life, but that's the first time I ever rescued a car lot. Oh, no. The black cat slipped away again. Uh, Spider-Man, I want to thank you here. You rescued the Maltese mouse. How can we ever repay you? Oh, you could start by carving my head on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> uh, that's very funny, Spider-Man. Uh, you know, it's obvious we aren't properly equipped to protect the Maltese mouse in the face of the black cat threat. Uh, you're the only one who can help us. You must guard the Maltese mouse when it appears on the Johnny Griffin show tonight. Me? Guard a mouse? On television? You gotta be nuts. Forget it. We'll pay you double what our security guards are getting. What time do you want me at the studio? Eight o'clock, just before showtime. I'll see you there. Spider-Man's falling right into my trap. With him guarding the Maltese mouse on national television, I can make a fool out of him in front of 50 million people. <laughs> I told you I wouldn't let you down this time, Betty. Well, you know, Peter, a girl can only be stood up so many times before she gives up. Never again, Betty. And to make up for all those times I canceled, after the show tonight, I'm gonna take you out to the finest restaurant in New York. Press. Mr. Jameson, what are you doing here? I got a phone call from the Black Cat. Said I shouldn't miss this show. Something about a big surprise. So that's why she picked the Maltese mouse. So she could challenge Spidey before a million viewers. Did you say something, Peter? Why, uh, I said I can't imagine a little mouse being worth a million dollars. Who, who's there? Nobody here but us cats. <laughs> Get him! Shoot! Shoot! Scat! Get away from me! Let's see. That's what I need. The perfect prop to trap a Spider-Man. There goes my spider sense. I think it's time for Spidey to make his personal appearance. Uh, I gotta get some more uh, film in case the black cat shows up. Be back in a minute. The Maltese mouse is due on stage any minute, and Spider-Man's nowhere to be found. That's probably because no one told me I was lost. Ah, good. Now, be careful with this, Spider-Man, and watch out for the black cat. Who cares about the black cat? I'm more concerned about my stage fright. Thank you, thank you. You look like a great group. And tonight, I'm going to dispense with my hilarious monologue and get right to our special presentation. Uh, not only do we have the fabulous million-dollar Maltese mouse, but here tonight to personally guard the little critter from the notorious black cat, we have New York's most famous swinger. Here's Spidey! Well, 
that was quite an entrance, Spider-Man. Uh, what convinced you to appear on national television to guard this marvelous little mouse? Money. What else? Ah, I see. I think our audience would like to know how you managed to keep your true identity a secret. Simple. I don't tell anybody who I am. I wonder what's taking Peter so long. Don't worry about the bad jokes, Spidey dear. Any minute now, you'll be the laughing stock of New York City. Well, how about showing the audience some of your sticky web tricks, Spidey? Why, sure. Here's one. <laughs> Don't go, you dick. Why, you put me down, Webhead, or I'll sue you for all your worth. Whatever you say, JJ. <laughs> I think it's about time the real show started. What was that? It's the black cat. Oh, great. Just when my routine was starting to get hot. Hey, <laughs> Florence, <laughs> you gotta see this. <laughs> Spider-Man's doing a dance number with some cat lady. <laughs> Here, kitty, 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 come to Spidey. I promise you'll get plenty of fish and milk in prison. Spider-Man or Spider-Mouse, you'll have to catch me first. You're nothing but a klutz in red tights. You'd better snap to it, Spidey, or they won't even make comic books about you anymore. Give it up, cat. Not even Simpson can outrun the old web slinger. Who said anything about running, Spidey? I'm taking a cab. If crime doesn't pay, how come she's got cab fare and I haven't? Whoa, where to, little lady? Anywhere and step on it. Time for a little Olympic web skiing. I hate to do this to you, Spidey, but you asked for it. This is where I get off. Hit the brakes. Oh, wonderful. I'm caught in my own webbing. And just my luck. It's a real strong batch. Hang in there, Spidey. The black cat's about to cross your path for the last time. <sighs> You're the Boy Scouts when you need them. Spidey dear, looks like our cat and mouse games are finally over. Now you'll see that there's more than one way to skin a Spider-Man. Wait a minute. I think my luck may have finally changed. Now I'll just collect my prize and show my fans I'm still the top swinger in town. Spider-Man, and he's got the black cat. See that this wild cat gets caged. Spider-Man, you were terrific. And I'm sure our viewers are going to remember this date for a long, long time. Oh, no. Speaking of dates, I'd better change and get back to Betty before it's too late. I, uh, I am sorry it took me so long, Betty. Hope I didn't miss anything too exciting. Don't worry about it, Peter. The only thing you're going to miss is your next date with me. Uh, JJ, what do you say you and I have a night on the town? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Well, sure, why not? Don't work too hard, Parker. Who says the good guy always gets the girl?
Lots of pound puppies need your love. Ask for me, Petey. And when they're this lonely and this lovable, one more is always welcome. Come share in all our cousin Karen puppy love. Pound puppies. Each sold separately. From Tonka. I can tell, Brenda. You're the kind of babysitter with the sensitivity and intelligence to let me stay up and eat these new swirls from Jello Pudding Snacks. Not because swirls are butterscotch, vanilla, and chocolate pudding in a cup, but because I have this medical condition. And it's aggravated by a lack of jello pudding in my diet. And oh, if I don't make it, I want you to have my dog. New butterscotch, vanilla, and chocolate swirls from Jello Pudding Snacks. After years of peaceful existence on the distant planet Valoria, Questar and his people were forced into battle. The power of their step crystal ripped a hole in the fabric of time, sending them backward to prehistoric Earth. Unaware that at the same moment the evil Emperor Krulos was plotting to capture the step crystal with his own grotesque Rulon forces. And so the battle continues in a new place in time with Dino Riders. Let's show them our new stuff, loop-de-loop. -loop. Now roll out the barrel. I couldn't have done it better in a souped-up hovercraft. Are you paying attention down there? We're with you, youngster! Wow, I wish I was with them. That looks like a blast. Uh, no offense, pal. It's just the young star's incredible. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet, lad. What's this? Over. Look, Serena, no hands. Impressive, young star. Wow, look at him go. Cool. But not too bright. We haven't completed stress testing those new saddles, young star. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't be such a wet blanket, Arrow. I could stay up here all day. Whoa! Hang on, Hotshot, we've got you! <laughs> Stick around, Young Star. We'll give you some real flying lessons. Young Star, that was amazing. Errol saved your life. He's the greatest, isn't he? Big deal. I could have done the same for him in half the time. I heard that, Young Star. But don't worry. You won't have to. I know what I'm doing. Uh-oh. What's that? Is that thing as big as it looks from up here? That's the biggest pteranodon I've ever seen! Get a move on! This pteranodon is a real prize! This beast will make Krulos proud and the young star dead meat. <laughs> Welcome, all of you, to Dino Riders Flight School. Now, the day may soon come when our best defense will be our air support. Aw, oh, Ace, I don't see why we're wasting our time with this fancy-schmancy air stuff. Just give me a good, solid Taurosaurus to strap my pants to. I'll make mincemeat out of those Rulons. This flying stuff is for the birds. Gunner, we're not asking you to become a pilot, but a little familiarization with flight equipment and tactics just may come in handy someday. Gunner, why don't you give me a hand with this demonstration? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the saddles are designed to hold you securely. <laughs> Unless you're doing something dumb like flying upside down. Arrow, I can fly the pants off you and you know it. That's not what I saw today. Arrow, young star, I think what Neutrino now has to say is of far more importance than your private discussion. 
Uh, the twin lasers mounted on each wing, coupled with the maneuverability of these birds, gives you the opportunity to get in, fire, and get out. It's a great combination. Yeah, well, I gotta hand it to you. Looks pretty good. <laughs> with these flying beasts under my control, the Dino Riders are doomed. Patience with those sniveling dino riders. I have developed a plan, Lord Krulos. Allow me. An attack from two sides would surely leave the dino riders weak and confused. No, Rasp. I don't want the dino riders weak and confused. I want them destroyed. And for that, I need to attack from the air. But, but for an air attack, we would need... Your Highness, I am pleased to report I have brain boxed the largest Pteranodon on the planet. He has untold power. Ah, excellent. You see, Rasp, Hammerhead brings me answers, not problems. You could take a lesson from Hammerhead. Rasp! Is this mammoth Pteranodon armed? It is being done as we speak, my lord, but there is more. My men have scoured the planet. They've captured all the other Pteranodons we could find. Hammerhead, prepare your troops for a demonstration. I want to see what my new Air Force can do. Consider it done, Lord Krulos. Consider it done, Lord Krulos. Hammerhead. Impressive indeed. Keep an eye on Hammerhead and report his every move back to me. I'll not permit that leadhead to make me look foolish in front of Kronos. Yes, it's settled. Tonight we will attack the Dino Riders by air. Prepare for battle! Before the night is out, the Dino Riders will be no more. How's it going, lad? Oh, hi, Ace. My pterodactyl and I are going out to harvest some fruit from the trees. Our supplies were getting kind of low. Up, uh, Terry? Great, looks like you had quite a haul today. Ketz and I are going out to get in some target practice. Want to come along, Serena? Hold on, young star. You're supposed to help us make another run to the tar pits today. Boring. Maybe tomorrow. My target practice is a lot more important. Wrong, young star. The tar pit traps outside the compound are crucial to our defense against Krulos. They're almost done. We should finish them. OK, have it your way. I can always go out later and rip up the sky. Last one of the tar pits is a rotten egg. Yeah! <laughs> Who knows, old pal? Maybe we'll get lucky and surprise some slimy Rulon search party. Happy hunting, young star! Thanks! Thanks a lot! Young Star. He should have been here by now. Probably out playing on some thermal current. He'll catch up. <laughs> he always does. Well, there's work to do. Okay, let's fill him up. All of this for a lousy bucket. Wait, I got an idea. Got it! 
gets any wild ideas tonight, he's gonna find it very sticky going when he hits this tar. There must be no mistakes in our attack. We must make Hammerhead and his air armada seem useless. Tonight, Lord Krulos will realize that I am his superior weapon. And after I destroy Youngstar, the precious step crystal will be mine. One more load of tar will just about do it. Coming up, Gunner! It's about time you showed up, hotshot! What took you so long, young star? We were worried about you! Yeah, with all your fancy flying, you should have been here long ago! You want fancy flying? Stand back! Ketsuko Atlas and I'll park this tar right on target! No, young star! Don't try it! Look out below! Over, boy! Oh, no. A <laughs> great idea, young star. You really get into your work. <laughs> Come on, fella. We don't need to put up with this. All is ready, Lord Krulos, for your victory over the Dino Riders. Excellent. I will lead the ground forces myself. Hammerhead will lead the airstrike. You will assist him, Rasp. <laughs> As you wish, my lord. It is my wish, Rasp. And you can begin now! And it is my wish that you fall off your monstrous bird! If anyone's falling, snake face, it'll be you! We'll see. We'll see. Yeehaw! Oh, I'd like to see Arrow do that, huh, fella? Hey, let's try a little low-level flying between the red rocks and the sulfur pools. Onward! We will crush the Dino Riders once and for all! Whoa, fella! Looks like Krulos couldn't sleep tonight. We'd better warn the others. A Dino Rider! Shoot him down! Destroy him! It will be my pleasure, Lord Krulos. Youngstar, this time there will be no escape. It's Hammerhead. I should have known. We'll have to take a detour. There's no place you can hide, Youngstar. Who's hiding, Fish Breath? Come and get me. Serena may not be ready to fly with us. Boy, that sounds like a challenge, Arrow. Only if you want it to be. Okay, you're on, Flyboy. Serena, be careful. Don't worry, Grandfather. I'll be just fine. You don't sense trouble, do you, Mind's Eye? I'm not sure, Questa. Maybe it's nothing more than an old man's fear. Mm, I don't believe that, my friend. Your feelings have a habit of coming true. Oh, what's that? I hope 
this is only a nightmare. <laughs> only one way out of this mess, Bella. The Dino Rider Cat is dead ahead! Attack! You're a natural, Serena. You fly like you and your Pteranodon are one. <laughs> we are! Look! Rulons! Questar! Dino Riders. Rulon attack! Man your battle stations! You may Sorry, Gunner, but we're drafting you. Yeah? Do I have a choice? There's your answer. Krulos is making this an air battle. Ah! Next time, pick on somebody your own size. Ah! Pretty fancy flying for a ground jockey. Thanks. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Now that was fancy flying and shooting. Mind's eye. There's just too many of them. Don't think of their numbers, boy. Concentrate. Use the strength within you. I did it! I did it! Thank you, Mind's Eye. Just believe in yourself, my son. Serena, help! Pteranodon! Ah! This guy just doesn't give up! Hold on, lad! Play dead, Pteranodon! Another Dino Rider bites the dust! You're safe now, lad! And so is my pterodactyl! Thanks, Serena! Victory is almost mine! I can taste it! And it will be all the sweet air knowing I've destroyed Quistar! Destroy him! Krulos. Maybe I should make things a bit sticky for him. Move to the tar pools, Doc. Hey, Krulos! Don't hide in the jungle like a coward! Face me! Coward? Watch your words, Questar, for you'll be eating them soon enough! Stupid beast, move! I will not lose this battle! <laughs> Krulos will never learn. Out of my way! What are your orders, almighty Krulos? Get the stuff! I will not leave here without it! Consider it done, Lord Krulos. Beware, Questar. I will have my vengeance. Move, you stupid animal! Move! Krista, I sense the step is in danger. I understand. Now, Hammerhead will see who wins Krulos' favor. I'll take that! No, the step must be mine! Not this time, Rulon! Ah! Mine! Finally, the crystal is mine! I'll die before I let you get away with the oh! step! Then prepare to die, Quista! I wouldn't do that if I were you, fish eyes! Ah! And you die, too! Useless against my giant! Ah! 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 At your service, fish 
slips. This time, I will not fail to destroy you. Stay put, Longstar. Let me make your end quick and painless. A little teamwork might send Hammerhead and his monster packing. Count me in. was that, Kulos will hear of your failure. You haven't won yet, Questar! I will return! Not bad flying, young star. You're pretty good yourself, Arrow. Gunner, how about joining the test pilots? We sure could use you. Yeah, thanks anyway. I'm sticking to four-legged dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, and leave the flying to the likes of him. Some trap ever. The Horde Slime Pit. The what? The Slime Pit. Now, Spiker, you're my slave. Not the slime. Yes, my slime will overpower you. I've been slime. No one escapes the evil Horde Slime Pit. Yes. The evil Horde Slime Pit from the Masters of the Universe. You put it together. Action figures each sold separately from Mattel. Robocop. Part man, part robot, all cop. Drop it! Robocop and the Ultra Police, each sold separately. The only cops with rapid repeat cap firing. Evil headhunter on a skullhawk is cruising for trouble. Robocop and his armor, Robo One, will chase him down. This will stop you? Oh, yeah. Nothing can stop Robocop. You put Robo One together. Robocop vehicles and figures with Robocaps, each sold separately. Detroit. The near future. Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner Ann Lewis fight to rid the decaying city of the criminal element which infests it. After being mortally wounded in the line of duty, Officer Murphy is outfitted by OCP with bulletproof titanium robotic parts and with computer enhanced motor and sensory capabilities. He has become the ultimate super cop. Robocop. Me too. Good thing that droid never gets tired. Holy cow! That thing's going nuts! Hey, let's get out of here before it turns its screws on us. <laughs> the electromagnetic pulse bomb is working just like Sangman said it would. Yeah, it makes those rotten robots go mad. Wait, man. As mad as humanity was to build them in the first place. All units, run away, robot. 77 Downhill Avenue. Use caution. Robot is powerful and dangerous. What, what do we do now? Yeah! Maybe if you run to the left, it'll follow you. Me? How about if you run to the right? It's too late! It's moving in! Ow! Over there, Murphy! Do something! Yay! Attention! I order you to desist at once. I can pick out the primary power cable. You okay, Murphy? I 
have had better days. Well, that was some good shooting. Yes, my target mode is very efficient. Yeah, aren't robots great? Your big brother nearly killed us. Brother? All of you robots are dangerous. Blast it. Robocop, stop that rogue robot. Don't worry, Flesh Brother. We will wait for the right moment to make an example of Robocop. I've had it with that walking can opener. Robocop stole my job. The SWAT team could have handled that renegade robot. The call was for all units, Hitchcock. Robocop just got there first. Next time, get your men moving faster. I shouldn't have to run a race with that titanium toolbox. The lieutenant's right. He's the best SWAT team commander in the country. Robocop ought to be taking orders from him. Well, I'm glad you're on my team, Putter. You're gonna work out just fine. Thanks for the assignment, Lieutenant. I really needed the work, especially after I lost my last job to a robot. Speaking of jobs, look at this. So you think your job's rough? <laughs> well, here's one worker who called it quits today. A mysterious organization calling itself the Brotherhood has claimed responsibility for the destructive robot rampage today. The following videotaped message was sent to Media Break. Hail the Brotherhood! Oh, Detroit is sick, and the sickness is robotics. These inhuman metal monsters are taking over society. Robots are taking human jobs and putting people out of work. You can say that again. Today's demonstration has shown the world that robots cannot be trusted. This is just the beginning. We, the Brotherhood, demand that Detroit scrap all its robots, starting with the most dangerous one of all, RoboCop. Right on. Oh. Ow! You no good, rattle trap. You're just another one of those renegade robots. Nah. Her warranty just ran out, and I ain't got the money to get her fixed. Well, the Brotherhood's right. Those things are dangerous. Watch it, Hitchcock. That gang of terrorists is breaking the law and endangering lives. Look, Reed, I don't approve of their methods, but I like their attitude, especially when it comes to RoboCop. That talking trash bin's a menace. Oh, yeah? That menace saved a lot of lives today. That is correct. Yeah, you were lucky you stopped that other robot before your screws came loose. Potter's right. Robocop's just a machine. He could go wacky anytime. Ha! Some people are wacky all the time. Like the Brotherhood. I must stop them. He sure is sensitive for a robot. He's a man, you jerk. Let's get it over with. This place is disgusting. It's too bad it takes electronics to defeat electronics. That blasted brain scope keeps shorting out. There. I think I got it. Oh, oh well. Put it out again. <laughs> Zingman! If you'd stop playing with that disgusting piece of robotic trash, we could get some business done. Business? Us? Oh, yes! Now I remember. Let me see. Yeah, I put it here somewhere. Ah, here it is. My latest electromagnetic pulse bomb designed especially for Robocop. This ought to fry his circuits. <laughs> but what about the big one? I must see it. Voila! The ultimate EMP bomb. It's not quite ready yet, but when it is, it will create an electromagnetic pulse guaranteed to overload every circuit in all Detroit. It'll blast every robot in town right out of its gourd. <laughs> in the meantime, we'll use this one on Robocop. <laughs> Burgers, made from a delicious variety of animals. May I take your order? Perfect. This is the ideal place to create a disturbance that'll attract RoboCop. Yes, Flesh Brother. Let's play a game I call Bowling for Victims. <laughs> Here is your money back. Ah, my car! Hey, what a 
about our food, dude. Yeah, eat this. Stop! Tampering with mail is a federal offense. More trash. Throw it away. Smash it. Uh-oh! It thinks we're rubbish! Lewis, watch out! Smash trash! Smash trash! Oh, no, cannot get an opening! Hold still, darn it! Maybe if it can't see, it can't fight! Must strike now! Touché, Murphy. At least we don't have to book him. Sounds like more trouble. What is this, an epidemic? Perhaps. Two burgers coming up. Hope you choke on it. Whoa, hold the ketchup! Hold the pickles, hold the lettuce. Special orders will be had us. I've heard of food fights, but this is ridiculous. Better cool you off. Have a frosty treat to you. Yeah, yeah. That problem's on ice for now. Question is, what caused it? I am picking up an energy emission. It is coming from outside. Excellent. He's taken the bait. The energy source is on the other side of that car. You better let me get it. It might mess up your circuits. Down with robots. Murphy! Are you all right? Cannot see. Confused. Enemies. Enemies on all sides. No. Wrong input. Must not give. In. Murphy! Oh, I better do something. Fast! All systems now operating normally. Lewis! I'm okay. Just dizzy. Hey, do I detect some of that human warmth you like to hide? I was concerned about losing a good officer. And a good friend. We have already proven that robots are a clear and present danger. Now it is time for you to take a stand. Join our anti-robot demonstration at OCP headquarters tomorrow. And together we can stamp out the most dangerous robot of all. Robocop! I don't know about this stuff. Seems to be robots ain't perfect, but neither is people. Oops! Ouch! Sorry, Bob! On the other hand... There's been a tremendous turnout at OCP headquarters today. We're here to let OCP know we want their robots off the streets. Right on, dude. They're dangerous. Like they wrecked my dad's car, and he blamed me and took away my allowance. How do you feel about the Brotherhood? Some people say they're causing the robot trouble. That's robot propaganda. Those guys are heroes. Crowd's getting mean, sir. Who can blame them? Huh. Uh, if I weren't a cop, I'd be out there with a sign myself. Yeah, me too. That figures. Stupidity loves company. Well, it's the robot lover and her pet can opener. Uh, talk about a machine putting a good man out of a job. Actually, I am a cyborg. Don't get technical with me, you walking toaster. Hey, Robocop! Catch! Warning! Danger! I am sorry, but I... Dad! He's after me! Keep away from my boy. Isn't enough you shot his toy? Afraid of a kid's ball, Mr. Big Shot? It was... a mistake. Yeah, well, just keep away from us, you abomination. You're worse than a robot. You're some kind of a crazy freak. We better leave before things get ugly. It already is ugly. Because hate 
is ugly. More coffee, Officer Lewis? No, <laughs> no thanks. Sometimes it's hard to tell with you, Murphy, but you look worried. Maybe I am a freak. Maybe I am dangerous. Oh, that's ridiculous. You've saved more lives than the whole fire department. I made a mistake today. That child's ball. Anybody can make a mistake. The lady's right, pal. Lighten up. Robots cannot afford to make mistakes. Attention, citizens of old Detroit. Uh-oh. It's those masked lunatics again. All robots must be destroyed by midnight tonight, or we will detonate this giant pulse bomb, and every machine in all Detroit will go insane. Found anything, Murphy? No, not yet. After analyzing that bomb we found at Bogus Burgers, Dr. Tyler suggested we look for a criminal with a high-tech flair. Only someone with an expert knowledge of magnetic fields could have built something so sophisticated. Wait, I think I found our man. What a neighborhood. Are you sure this is the right address? Zingman was last seen in this area. I detect a significant energy output inside. All boarded up. Come on, maybe there's another way in. Murphy, look! Security robots! Stop! You are in violation of Section 1343 of the Penal Code. Lewis, get down! Someone has reprogrammed them for attack mode. No kidding, Murphy! Lost him. Where is he? Where is Robocop? Looking for me? Well, 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 I, I, I that is. I... Enough games. Where is the bomb? B -b 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 bomb? What bomb? I don't know anything about any bombs. You are lying. I repeat, where is the bomb? The Museum of Natural History, 150 Toll Drive. I knew he could count on this rat to squeal. <gasps> he could have hurt me. Come, we must hurry. What a shame. <laughs> he really is a magnificent tech job. I'm almost sorry to see him walk into a trap. <laughs> the Museum of Natural History? Thanks, Robo. Send out an all points to... No, you don't. Robocop is not to be trusted. But, Lieutenant, Robocop says he has a lead on... I said forget it. Taking a tip from a robot is like sticking your head in a lion's mouth. Uh. This is bad kind as it should be. Flash Brother, Robocop is here. Good. He's taken the bait. Attack! The time is at hand. Close the trap. Yes, Flesh Brother. Soon we will reduce old Detroit to the Stone Age again, as it should be. Excellent! We've got Robocop! Wrong. You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. No way, you cybernetic sap! Detonate the bomb! Losing strength! Confused! Give up, you worthless wreck! You can't fight it! At this range, the bomb does more than scramble you. It drains your power. Soon it will destroy you. When the bomb reaches full detonation, the entire city will be engulfed by its electromagnetic pulse. Every robot in old Detroit will turn against its owner, and mankind will learn its lesson. 
never trust a machine. <laughs> Enjoy watching you crawl. Being a decoy for the birds. I've got to find Murphy. Not so fast, lady. Got her. Not without bringing me a corsage first. See you later, fellas. I've got a date with Murphy. I must destroy the bomb's power source. I have only one chance. Sorry. Well, fuck it. It's not gonna happen. You've lost. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna bet, baghead? Malfunctioning. <laughs> ah. Cannot use targeting mode. Hurry, Murphy! I I can't hold him! I must use my own human instincts and fire! Hey, Betty! You gotta see this! Uh, care for some coffee, boss? Blast! Looks like Robocop was right after all. Move it, men! This is no picnic! I did it. I destroyed the bomb. You did it, all right. You ruined everything. Not so fast, creep! Oh. Hey, we're in blazes as Putter! Now let's see how ugly you really are. Putter? Putter! Why in blazes did you do this? I had to. The robots were out to get me. I lost my job because of them. They ruined my life. Just like you, Robocop. Someday I'll put an end to you and the rest of those blasted contraptions. Hey, this whole place is coming down. Let's get out of here. Let's ah! talk. Allow me. Cutter, I hope you enjoy your steak. Get your hands off of me, you stinking machine! That's an order! Yes, sir. So, you hate robots, eh? If Murphy wasn't a robot, Hedgecock, you'd be one flat-footed and flat-headed cop. But I... I... Stuff it, Lieutenant. You owe Robocop one! Blast! <laughs> This toy comes with something that can really open up a kid's imagination. Its own legend. He-Man! Skeletor is his enemy. It's the Masters of the Universe collection. And for my kids, the legend begins here, with Castle Grayskull. It holds the powers of the universe. He-Man! Skeletor has captured Castle Grayskull! We must stop his evil power! To Grayskull! Defeat He-Man's forces, but leave him to me. Here I am, Skeletor. He-Man! Skeletor is getting away! But Castle Grayskull is safe with us! Nothing safe while Skeletor is out there. And so the legend continues in this Masters of the Universe collection. And in the imagination of my kids. Look for it. It's new. From Mattel. <laughs> My new JVC Compact VCR is the world's smallest, lightest VCR ever. 
It's ideal for taping graduation, school plays, Halloween. <laughs> it's loaded with features. Perfect for Christmas morning, Groundhog Day, Little League, Big League. JVC's new compact VHS video system with the world's smallest, lightest VCR ever. Buzz off, Buster. Great sound, too. I don't like this! Whoa! What's happening? Whoa! Where are we? Look out! Fear not, ranger? Barbarian? Magician? Thief? Cavalier? And acrobat? was Venger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. chicken. And besides, who ever heard of a skunk with feathers, huh? Presto, can't you find something in that hat of yours to make this smell go away? I sure hope so. Abracadabra, quick as a wink, conjure me something to fight Eric's stink. Very funny. <laughs> Give me that. Ah. <laughs> That's perfect, Eric. Now you look as awful as you smell. It's an earthquake! Hank! Can you see him? There he is! Come on! Hank, are you all right? Yeah, I think so. Why don't we open it and find out? But what if there's something horrible inside? Are you kidding? It's probably filled with untold riches. Undead witches is more like it. Dungeon Master! I wouldn't touch that box if I were you. I told you it was horrible. Horrible schmarrable. He probably wants to keep all the cash for himself. There's something valuable in there. I can smell it. All I can smell is you, Eric. The Cavalier is right. There is much of value in that box. And an equal amount of pain <gasps> and horror. Ah, oh, come on, make up your mind. What is in the box, Dungeon Master? Nothing. Nothing? First there's something valuable in it, then there's pain and horror in it. Now there's nothing in it. I think there's nothing in his head. There is nothing in the box, and something in it as well. It is Zandora's box. Zandora was a good sorceress and an even better friend. Many years ago, Venger banished her into another world where she has been trapped ever since. You mean like we're trapped in this world? Mm-hmm. I wish there was something we could do. There is. The box you have discovered holds the only key to her freedom and yours. You must take the box to Skull Mountain Place it under the shadow of the skull at high noon, then open it. But you must never, never open the box anywhere else. Oh, I get it. There's something in the box and nothing in the box. The nothing is valuable, but the something is horrible. And if we open it in the right place, we get nothing, which is good. But if we open it in the wrong place, we get something, which is horrible. I love this little guy. Huh? <laughs> Phew. 
for a box full of nothing. This thing sure is heavy. According to the map, it'll take us one day to get to the Skull Mountain place. Great! As soon as we get Sandor out, maybe we can get out and go home. Maybe, Bobby. Let's get moving. I think we're exhausted. I think we're stupid. <gasps> we'll rest up for a few minutes and then head up that mountain slope to the north. Oh, no, we won't. What's the matter now, Eric? The matter is Hank. We're lost because of him. It's time a real leader took charge here. All right, all those in favor of my being the new leader, raise your hands. Bill <laughs> <laughs> Second thought, Hank, you be the leader. Let him have it. Bombs away. Bollywood's king treasure. tighter than sardines. All right, Eric, let him out. I can handle him. Huh? They're gone. Huh? But where'd they go? Now I get it. This must be a map of passageways to other dimensions. When the box is placed on any of these spots, it opens a stairway into another world. And one of those spots must lead to our world. But which one? I'll bet Zandora knows. Let's get this box to Skull Mountain and ask her. Come on! Next time, perhaps you'll think twice before you deceive me. Avenger? What is it? I bring news about the young ones. What about them? They found it, and they're taking it somewhere. Found what? S Sandora's box. Sandora, Dungeon Master's old ally. Hmm. So Dungeon Master has sent his young pupils to free Sandora and return her to this world. We shall see to it they fail. I don't get it. There's no jungle on this map anywhere. Well, there's a jungle here. I think you already found a way out of the jungle. Look! It's Skull Mountain. Uh, wait a minute. I thought you said we had to walk a whole day. Yeah! We've only been walking a few hours. Who cares? You want to drag this thing another 20 miles or what? Look! The shadow of the skull is moving. We don't have much time. Okay, open it. I don't see anyone down there. Uh, hello? Zandora? I guess we better go down and check. Well, well, you know, in case that's a bad guess, I'll stay topside with Presto and keep a lookout. This is scary. It's probably just a sewer. <laughs> I don't like the look of this place. Yeah, something tells me we're walking right into the twilight zone. Shh, I think I heard something. Hello? Down here. Probably just checking out the echo. Oh! 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 oh. Gosh! Where are we? It looks like. 
like a giant cage. I, I wonder what lives in it. Well, whatever it is, it thinks it's feeding time. Maybe that's what the clock is chiming about. Test. They're in trouble. Right. You go down and check it out. I'll wait up here. Alone. Hank? Sheila? <laughs> they must have fallen into those holes. Uh, I, I think we better get help. Eric, we are the help. <laughs> <laughs> crazy world, you save us all a lot of time and trouble. Ah, he's gone. Come on, you guys. Let's get moving. <laughs> well, <gasps> what is it now? The young ones. They escaped. Fool. With Zendora free, Dungeon Master will have even more power. We must move swiftly. I'm telling you, I can't go on. My feet hurt, my hands hurt. And my ears hurt from all your complaining, Eric. for one day. Phew. I'm not afraid. I'll open it. I told you it was a mistake. <laughs> oh, thank you, young ones, for setting me free. Dungeon Master sends his greetings. I should have known Dungeon Master would not forget me. Now that you're free, we were hoping you could help us get home to our world. Home? Well, perhaps I can lead you in the right direction. But how? I am a sorceress, aren't I? You have freed me. Now it is my turn to free you. This isn't our home. Not yet. But if you open the magic box, you will find a stairway leading back to your world. Hurry. Thanks, Andorra. 
want to leave you, Uni. Yeah. Don't worry. I will take good care of the unicorn for you, Barbarian. Goodbye, Uni. <laughs> so long. Goodbye. I don't see anything. It's a trap. I knew we shouldn't trust that old bag. They will never reach home. Venture! Out of my way, feeble one. Not that feeble, Venture. You are wasting precious time. Without Dungeon Master and the weapons of power, you cannot stop me. I shall deal with you when I return. and I will leave you in peace. Resist me, and you shall be destroyed. We'll give them to you, Venger, with everything they've got. Hey, where are my arrows? This'll slow them down. Huh? Yeah! Ow! I think I broke my club. Fools! Your weapons have no power in this world. If we give him our weapons, he'll go back and conquer Dungeon Master in the entire realm. There's only one thing to do. We led Venger here. We'll have to lead him back. You're nuts. I wouldn't go back to that crazy place for a million bucks. Have it your way, Eric. I'm going. With or without you. When in Looney Land, do as the loonies do. Wait for me! <laughs> Those saps can go back if they want to, not me. Nope, I'm home and I'm staying. <laughs> Nothing can make me change my mind. Give me that shield. Ah, that changed my mind. Hey, wait for me. What? will be trapped forever. No way. You'll be trapped back home. Yeah, and by the time we get back, he'd probably take over the whole planet. Hand over your weapons and the magic box, or I shall return to your world and turn it into a smoldering cinder. You'll never get their weapons or the magic box, Venger. <laughs> With your weapons. But they were in the box! Yes, 
but not where Venture entered. This is where the box was when I put your weapons into it. Nice going, Zandora. But where's Venture? Let's see. According to the map, he should be right about here. As soon as I have those weapons, no power can stop me. <laughs> Done, Zandora. And thank you for freeing me. I am sorry that Venger destroyed the natural bridge. It was the only spot from which the box could have transported you home. What? Are you nuts? Oh, there must be another spot that'll get us home. There. That's close enough. Aha! I knew it! The stairway to freedom! Eric, wait! Ah! 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 Bunny Wolves. Quit laughing, you guys, and give me a hand. Help! Get away, Wartress. Yuck! Don't touch me. Get down! Shoot, shoot! with the muscles. Here's He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Skeletor is his enemy. He-Man, He-Man. If He-Man, Skeletor, and Castle Grace go, you have to put the castle together. You're doomed, He-Man. Oh, yeah? Watch this action, Dad. He -Man. Now I have the power. He-Man and Skeletor each sold separately. Castle Grace Girl also sold separately from the Masters of the Universe collection from Mattel. It's the new Wacky Action Wind-Up Turtles! Who are you calling Wacky? How about Ray Fight and Raphael, who spins to attack with foot stars and Ratola? That's not Wacky. Well, what about Sewer Swimming Donatello, who gets into the swim with Spear and Scuba Jet? Or Rock and Roll Michelangelo with spinning action arm and weapons? Well, now we're talking Wacky! No, we're talking trouble! Because here comes the Foot Clan's Mouser, stomping and chopping! Why don't this be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! From Playmates! It's too late. This is Sun Fighter Leader. Break up, fan and scan. Report, but do not engage. Roger, Saber Jet. On our way. This is Sunfighter Leader. I've got a tone. We'll take a look. Uh-oh. I've got a bogey. I don't even know what it is. I'm in! I'm going down! Let us not be slow in our descent. Negative. Well, if he's in this tangled mess, he's not coming out. Please confirm the casualty. Forget the body bag, boys. This is Saber Jet. I'm still alive. I don't believe it. Are you sure this stuff's going to work? Of course, I invented it. I never failed to be impressed by his modesty. 
Ah, how should I punish you for your treachery? The acid bath? How about the ember pit? Or perhaps you would enjoy being tied to a stake in Whiteburn. No, no, Lord Mecklar. Uh, yes, Master Mecklar. <laughs> Master Mecklar. Yes, I like the ring of that. I have a plan to trap and destroy the Earth Core. If you do not succeed in implementing it, my punishment will make the acid bath look like a massage! Meanwhile, in the mantle... It looks like a, a farm of some kind. Perhaps those Langostoid creatures raised crops here. They're too lazy for farming. Earth Core! Battle positions! Do not fire, kind humans. I don't like it when the natives down here call us humans. It was the kind part that bothered me. What do you want? Do not shoot. We want to talk. Suppose we want to shoot. Hold your fire, Augur. Tell him about the great trouble. Oh, yes, we are having great troubles. Kendrill has attacked our city. How long ago? Just moments. We happened to know you were coming. Yeah, probably trying to ambush us. Eric, I got a battle plan. Let's let Tendril wear himself down, tearing apart their village, then attack. Quiet, Ogre. My friend has a strange sense of humor. Earth Corps, prepare for combat. <laughs> Blasting them. No, wait. Maybe they'll start blasting each other. Decompose? Give the Langostoids the surface food. <laughs> it doesn't look like they're blasting each other. It was wishful thinking. Right? I'm gonna hit them with the formula. No, uh, I've been thinking. Perhaps I might have miscalculated on the formula. I never thought I'd hear the infallible Dr. Bright admit to a mistake. Neither did I. Spray it anyway. If you don't, we're dead. She's got a point. <laughs> you think it's doing anything? <sighs> It's... it's doing something, and I don't like it. Sandra! I don't believe what I'm seeing. This is what I was afraid of. It's like they're falling in love. Sweet voice calling me. <laughs> For some reason, I'd be more comfortable if they were attacking. Tell me about it. My fair flesh slug. Soon we will be one. Decompose. Please lift this trap off of me. But of course, my love. Let me liberate you from the ugly chains of mortality. Go for it! The hook is off! The hook is off! Ah! Ah! 
Sandra, take off! See you up top! Sandra! Sandra! Flee not, my love! Flee not! gone better if we'd rehearsed it. That's because you were hardly involved in the operation. Let's get out of here before they go for some live surface food. Sandra! Sandra, darling! I'll never let you go! Worry not, fair lass. Earth core is here. Cut! Cut! I attempt to show the passion, touch the soul of the monsters, and what do I get? A bungling fool tripping over his own feet! George, I think it was a print all the way up until he tripped. All you have to do is intercut a shot of... You think? If I wanted you to think, I would have put it in your contract! You don't understand. This is no exploitation film. This is art! The real tendril! Capture the moment! Film it! Oh, oh, oh. This guy isn't going to take no for an answer. Talk to me, baby. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Come on, let's get it done. Yeah, baby. Let's get down. Yeah, baby. Let's get down. Yes, it would cost a fortune to recast her. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hector Ramirez coming to you live from the Statue of Liberty. Today, it is expected that Senator Theodore Ted Masterson will announce his candidacy for president. And it certainly seems that he has a lot of support. Go, Go Listen, when he starts talking, you better cheer big, or there's no paycheck. Thank you, thank you. I cannot tell you how honored I am to be here after 30 years of what some call selfless service to my country. Metlar. Worry not, treacherous slug. If the others are stupid enough to vote for you, I have no intention of stopping them. I'm gonna get him for that! Why don't you do something easy instead, like get yourself elected? I feel funny celebrating when the Inhumanoids are on the loose. Liquidator. Uh, Jonathan. The Inhumanoids have been around for a million years. One more night won't make a lot of difference. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. What? <laughs>
slug's life is of no further concern to us. Then, shall we waltz to the siren's sweet song? For just a moment, my sweet. You ever seen such a jerk in your life? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Hector Ramirez with a special episode of 20 Questions. This just in. The Tendril Monster has attacked the set of director George Landisberg's Primal Passions and kidnapped actress Stella Blaze. I don't get it. In case you haven't figured it out, we sprayed the monsters with a... Uh... A love potion. If that don't beat all... Sandra's just been decomposed! Earth Core, suit up! Meanwhile, in the core... Statue warriors, assemble and meet my fiance. She does not look special to me. Oh, don't take it too hard. She's only after his lava. So, who are the creeps? Oh, of liberty, uh, allow me to introduce my statue warriors. They look like rejects from some museum. Look, let's get a few things straight. First, your place is a dump. Second, you got a gut. Lose it. And third, if you're expecting me to do the big hitch with you, you'd better clean up your act. Hey, where's the TV? Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, dear, but uh, any, anything you say, anything you say. Soon you shall reign supreme over the Empire of Darkness. Yes, my love. Wait until you see my child, baby. <laughs> oh, I can hardly wait, my sweet. I bet it's really something. Yeah, and I got a hot spring with bubbles and everything. Bubbles? Sounds like you've got quite a cavern. The gates to Skellweb. So what now? I got a real subtle plan. Exactly what I've come to expect from you. Now, let's find Sandra. I think I know where to look. Come on. I've only got one problem. I can't tell which one is the real tendril and which one is bogus. I must conclude that the braggart is the real one. Okay, you distract the real tendril, I'll get the actress. Are you having fun yet? <laughs> Only to laugh. Here's my routine for staying in shape. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, logic dictates that the leader of the Earth Corps should remain safe while I rescue the girl. But I couldn't ask you to do anything I wouldn't do. I know. Do you have a coin to flip? Now, what would I be doing with a coin down here? That settles it. I'll rescue her. something strangely beautiful about all this. Should I spray him with... Don't spray him with anything. That's how he got into this mess. Allow me. July is over! Die, mortal flesh slugs! Die! Curse and white burn!
of it! Are you all right? I... I... I guess so. She must be in shock. Come on, let's get her back to headquarters. Let's go! I'm in this one! I hope you're the real Dr. Bright, not just some stuntman. I'm the real thing. Bright! Hurry it up! I'll arrange a diversion. Come on! Tendril! Your girlfriend's stepping out on you! Wait, my darling! It's awesome! You know, in a way, I feel sorry for him. It must have been love at first sight. Do you believe in that? Yes, I do. Uh, so do I. <clears throat> you mind if we get out of here before the honeymoon? I wouldn't come here for a honeymoon. <laughs> Neither would I. How about Greece? Yes, there's this little island. Uh, why don't we talk about it on the way out of here? <laughs> Well, they say I might never walk again, but I'll fly for sure. I can't tell you how sorry I am about all this. Sorry? Give me a break. I'll trade legs for jets any day. This is the best thing that ever happened to me. There's the worst thing that ever happened to me. Yes, viewers, this is but the first installment of a series on the Masterson Expedition. A valiant team of explorers led by Senator Masterson who is taking time off from his presidential campaign to rescue the Statue of Liberty from a vicious monster named Metlar. <sighs> well, this ought to liven things up around here. He told me what to do. He said, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, tang, tang, wow, wow, bing, bang. That means play Dr. Mario on Game Boy or NES. Tang, tang, wow, wow, bing, bang. I beat the witch doctor, and this is what he said. He said, ooh, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, tang, tang, wow, wow, bing, bang, ooh, ee, ah, ah. And then he struck my head. Mario, wow! But it ain't what you think. You get to zap these viruses, and with two players, you can actually trash the other guy. Remember, kids, try this at home. Hey, you can get it for Game Boy too. Mario, Mario, Mario. He's 
back. All you had to do was ask Super Mario Brothers 3 from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. Hey, paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! We're with the Mario Brothers and plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. If your sink is in trouble, you can call us on the double. We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. So hang on to your seat. Get ready for adventure and remarkable feats. You'll meet Koopas and Troopers, the princess and the others. Hanging with the plumbers, you'll be hooked on the brothers to the bridge. up over here. You go get the phone. All right. And uh, put it on speakerphone. What do you mean speakerphone? I fixed it special. Just push the third pepperoni from the right. Mario Brothers plumbing. You block them, we clear them. Mario Brothers can't hunt. Oh, it's that bully, Sergeant Slaughter. I heard that. Drop it, give me can. Okay, Sarge. We're doing them. Stupid speakerphone. You'd better have my steam cabinet fixed. I'm stuck in traffic on the Brooklyn Bridge, but I'm taking a shortcut, and I'll be right there. How could you take a shortcut off the Brooklyn Bridge? That's a goof. It helps if you have a Sherman tank, bozo. As ready as it'll ever be. All right, I'll go check on the pizza. That Sergeant Slaughter's a pretty tough customer. I better check this baby out. <laughs> as you were, troop. As I was, was pulling a pizza out of the oven. Proceed on schedule, Doughboy. Hop to, hop to, double time it. Meanwhile, I'll check this baby out. See how she works. I don't like the way this thing is thumping. Why don't you come up here to the kitchen? You can hardly hear it from here. Sounds good, over here. We'll be right back and boil my steam! Ten hut, eyes forward! Yo, 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 it's the Mario Brothers, and plumbing's the game. Found the secret water till we're working on the drain. Lend the princess a hand in the mushroom land. Turn the action with the plumbers, you'll be hooked on the brothers. Now, Evil Cooper and his troopers are up to misbehaving. They kidnapped the princess mushroom land, and saving. Abusing and confusing, everybody discovers they can't help. Plumber's log number 1061. Evil King Koopa had grabbed Princess Toadstool and hidden her away in the Wild West. Wanted, dead or alive, which Mario and the Luigi Kid? Hey, Mario, I told you we shouldn't have come. This place is full of dangerous outlaws. Hey, that's you guys. Us? <laughs> Reward! 10,000 gold pieces! 
10,000 gold pieces. I'm taking you crooks to jail. <gasps> I'll let their gold to the bank. Hang on. Don't you want to read the part about how dangerous we are? You? Ha! I'll show you dangerous. <laughs> Mario, it's getting sticky. Do something. <laughs> hey, Cactus, in your face, partner. <laughs> Are crooks? How come your pictures are on that wanted poster? Must be Koopa's idea. When we find where he's hiding the princess, you can ask him. Mario! Luigi! Help! You'll never see those pipsqueak plumbers again. I put prices on their heads <laughs> and a posse on their tails. Your kingdom will never be free. And you'll spend the rest of your life crawling at my feet. <laughs> I'll leave the crawling to you, you repulsive reptile. Then there's breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the rest of the week. <laughs> I'll drop by in a few weeks to accept your surrender. Starve well, my pretty princess. <laughs> What's the matter with King Koopa's wagon? Is it broken? No, it's just fine. And it's waiting for you, criminal vermin. Mauser? Share sure, Mauser to you, you despicable felons. Felons? Yo, I never fell on nobody. I'm, uh... Under arrest, apprehended, and busted. First, you have to catch us. Think 
You'll get the reward later. You think I carry that much cash? I taught you later. Partners, I think it's time to head for the hills. a free spaghetti to go. How about to stay as my prisoners? <laughs> you will watch this while I put initial in the meter. Look sharp. Incoming cartoons at 12 o'clock. Princess Toadstool can forget about a rescue. I got her buttonsky buddies all cooped up. <laughs> Looks like we're facing 20 years of bread and water. Not me. My stomach would never speak to me again. Listen, I got a plan. Water! Water! Okay, which one of you plum scum keeps yelling he's dying of thirst? Him! Tough tortellini, this is my water. <laughs> patty cake, patty cake, pasta man. Give me pasta power as fast as you can. Hey, what are you loonies up to? Pasta power! Hey, what's the big idea? Sorry, Sheriff, it was an accident. Yeah. I mean, we're so thirsty, we don't know what we're doing. I'm warning you, jailbirds. Don't let it happen again. Right All on, right. Paisano. Yo. Yeah! Give me a shot of loafer. Just what we need for a break. You'll get a bang out of this, Sheriff Mauser. doesn't get us out of here soon, I'm going to eat this mattress. Bombs away! Yo, I need a doctor. I need a pizza. Stop them! Stop those horse thieves! You're right, Toad. This is the mine where Princess Toadstool was sending those smoke signals. <laughs> yeah, I hope we can find her before the sheriff's posse finds us. Someone's bricked up the mine. I'll bet this is where King Koopa is keeping the princess. We can use those bomb plants to get inside. when we're working by the hour. Luigi. <coughs> oh, thanks, Mario. 
but I can't breathe in here. I'm a gondola. That's a Ghana, spaghetti head. Ghana? Oh no! Hang in there, little brother. Mario will get you some fresh air. Yipes! Now we're all gondolas. Now, Linguini Lips, we'll see who's really the fastest gun in the West. Cheap! Cheap! At the cheap of six! Draw! Cheap! 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 He counting cheaps always puts me to sleep. <laughs> That's only five. You cheated. Like my grandfather Poopa the Koopa always said. Cheat, beat, and be merry. <laughs> Won't cheat your way out of this. <laughs> Come on, guys. I bet the smoke's cleared. Let's find the princess. Should have looked here first. How nice of you to drop in on Princess Toadstool. How are you going to get out now, Drano Brains? <laughs> now I got you tight with just where I want you. Water. I hear water. Quick, Luigi. It's time for plumbing power. There's more than one way to get rid of pests. Hey, Luigi. Waiting and rolling. I mean the. Uh... Reading and willing. I mean, ah, oh, just flush. Cooler, Cooper. We're free. How can I thank you? That's easy. I can think of seven ways. Seven? Yes, yeah, spaghetti, ravioli, macaroni, tortellini, muscatelli, linguini, and garlic ice cream. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, good not. <laughs> oh, what? Huh? What'd you make that pizza with? And Toby's grapes and cheese whiz. I don't like that thumping sound. Boy, I wish Mario was around. What's wrong with the steam machine? It just needs a bit more steam. Valve on, one, two. Red zone, three, four. Valve on, one, two. Red zone, three, four. All right, go boy. Hit the deck and no more jive. Please, Sergeant Slaughter, can I just do five? Read my lips, go boy. Hit the deck and give me five! Oh, you're, you're, you're kidding? Just kidding. Stay right there, don't touch that dial. We'll be back in a little while. Watch the previews on your screen. Legend of Zelda's exciting scenes. This is the Triforce of Wisdom, Link. The evil wizard Ganon has the Triforce of Power. Whoever gets both Triforces will rule this land forever. You must help me, Link. Hey, for you, Zelda, anything. Troop. 
Must be some kind of communist plot. How do you figure that, Sarge? It's in the red zone. <laughs> Scalding hot. That's a real soldier steam cabinet. I guess it's okay, except for that thumping sound. Oh, yeah, but even that's getting smaller, Sarge. Don't just stand there, troop. Load it on the tank and move out smartly. I'm double parked. Double parked? Yeah. I parked a tank on top of a Chevy. Boy, was that driver mad. I thought she'd never stop yelling. Double time. Mario running off like this. I'm so mad I'm ready to explode. I'll show you explode. If I get my hands on that sergeant, I'll whittle him down to size. Mario, stop kidding around and stand up. I am standing. Mamma mia. What am I going to tell Mama? Look at you. For crying out loud. Stay tuned. Don't go away. We'll be back. Till next time, everybody, to the Mario! Do the Mario! Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario! Take one step and then again. Let's do the Mario all together now. You got it! It's the Mario! Do the Mario! Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario! Take one step and then again. Let's do the Mario all together now. Come on now, just like that. Hi, my name is Roland. Water fruit wrinkles wrinkle. Did someone forget to iron them? Did they stay in the bathtub too long? No. The wrinkles are where they hide all the real fruit and fun. <laughs> I got a wazoo, I'm going to snuggle. Me and Papa Potamus. Cuddly as can be, cause she's part of hippo and part bunny. I got a wazoo, I'm going to snuggle. Me and Lion. Cute as he can be, cause he is part lion and part so I'm gonna snuggle. Name's Ella Rubble. Funny yes siree, cause he's part elephant, part kangaroo. Oh, bro! Give me a snuggle, Wazo. Wazo's good with their own storybook sold separately from Hasbro Softies. TurboGrafx-16 is about to knock video games back into the Stone Age. It's 10,000 years ago. You're a cave dude. You are carnivorous. You've got to bonk 28 stages of prehistoric bad guys to rescue your excellent looking princess. And you've only got one weapon. Bonk's Adventure, only on the TurboGrafx-16 system. Welcome to Video Land. Welcome to Castle Z. It's Congo Land. My the brain will get you, little princess. Princess, the palace is under siege. Behold, the ultimate warp zone. Kevin, I thought I told you to clean up your room. Game Master. Deep within the brain-shaped world of Metroid, a strange experiment will soon have an unexpected effect on Captain N, the Game Master. How are you coming with my little monster, Dr. Wiley? His body is finished, Mother Brain. Good. Then he's ready to challenge Captain E. Not yet. I need to program his brain first. 
But for that, we'll need a special device I invented. Just aim it at Captain Ken. And it will record his memory of the past down on this tape. Then, all I have to do is program the data into my creation, and he will become Captain N's greatest <laughs> challenge. Sounds delightful. We better get started. Oh, you beautiful peach, you. Oh, come to Eggy. That was one heavy dream. And remember, no foul up this time, you incompetent slobs! Hey, have we ever fouled up, Mother Brain? Can I give you one tiny boat for every time you've messed up my plan? Are you nuts? That would be a million votes! <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Palace of Power... Some weird movies in Video Land, hey Duke. <laughs> Let's see what's on channel 4212. Oh, my favorite! Wombat Man! I just want to know one thing, Bruce. Are we going to try to love each other? Probably not. Now, where did I leave the keys to the Wombat Mobile anyway? Hey, what happened to the picture? Oh, it must be the antenna again. I'll call the repair crew. Uh, here, let me help you with those dishes, Princess. Oh, thanks. Oh, please. There's someone at the door, Kiss. I'll get it. from someplace? No, nope. I've never been to someplace. Uh, been no place special a few times, but uh, never someplace. Oh. What's wrong with it? Well, it's obvious. I isn't it, Dr. Boomtube? Uh, yeah, sure, it's, uh, <laughs> your, uh, fugal beams. Yeah, that's it. Uh, they've been short-circuited by your bumper wonkies. Uh, wouldn't you agree, Dr. Dead Meat? Uh, yes, well, uh, we better get to work before I get cream. I mean, so we can fix your screen. Quick, give me Dr. Wiley's gizmo. Jerk breath. I could have sworn I put it next to the cauliflower.
Need it, flea bag. Will you stop fooling around? Hi, handsome. Yeah, I'll have to remember that, Chell. Now, give me that gizmo, will you? There. Now, according to Dr. Wiley, all we have to do is turn it on, and it'll record Captain S's worst fears onto this tape. <laughs> The repairman will have the set fixed in a jiffy, your dimpleness. What are you talking about? The repair crew isn't coming till tomorrow. Then who are... Ah. You stupid blimp! You're aiming at the wrong guy! Can't you do anything right? feeling as if someone was peeking into my darkest memories and there was someone from my past but I can't remember who it was we got it mother brain excellent you shall be well rewarded Memories of Captain Ends are all I need to bring my creation to life. of power. Feeling any better this morning, Kevin? Much. Thanks. Sorry to interrupt your video, Flake. <laughs> what do you want, Mother Brain? Oh, I just called to give Captain in my regards. I do hope you enjoy your retirement. Retirement? What are you talking about? Didn't you hear? 
You're not the game master anymore. You're second best now. Meet the real game master. <laughs> you can't scare me with your shadows, Mother Brain. Maybe not. But prepare to meet your match, Captain Ed. <laughs> your Highness, there's a mega emergency call coming in. You've got to help me. Mike Vincent? You know him? Yeah, he goes to the same school I do. Hey, Mike, how were you able to call me from home? I'm not home. I'm here in Video Land on Castlevania. Mother Brain sucked me through my TV screen. She sent this Game Master guy after me. Kevin, come quick. Please. You've got to go to Castlevania and help your friend. But he's not my friend. What? Well, that's what's so weird. Mike is my worst enemy. Ever since I was a kid, he's been beating me up. Friend or foe, he needs our help, I guess. Right. We've got to warp to Castlevania immediately. Wow. Me rescuing me, Mike Vincent. What a concept. A short while later on the creepy world of Castlevania. Oh, Castlevania's a big place. How are we gonna find Mike? Just leave it to Simon Belmont, vampire hunter. Not to mention finder of lost dogs, pussycats, and loved ones. <laughs> On second thoughts, <laughs> Kevin would rather be the one to find his friend. Relax, Simon. Duke will handle it. See if you can pick up the scent, boy. <laughs> Can't he find Mike, but now he's got us lost too. <laughs> What's wrong? Is it my hair? Is there something in my nose? <laughs> Mike, you okay? We thought you were in trouble. The whole end team is here to help. Don't be a twerk, Keen. I don't want your help. I want your hide. Let's see if your end team can handle my M team. M for monsters, that is. at the new Game Master of Video Land. Let's see how good your end team really is, lame master. Hold it. I want a snapshot of this for my album. Whoa, whoa. Got it. And I got you, too. You look like you need someone to hug. Shoot him, Kevin! Shoot him! Whatever you say, your Heineken. I said shoot him, not invite him to a party. <laughs> but it's a bon voyage party, see? Game Master now, Keen. I even got your girl. Just like the good old school days, eh? I'll get you for this, Mike, I swear it! Now that I've got the real Game Master on my side, nothing can stop me from conquering Video Land! You see, he's not really Mike Vincent. He's an android duplicate designed to beat Captain Ian. A what? 
<laughs> That's right, dude. 1,000 megabytes of memory, and all of it programmed to get you. That's what I felt before. You pulled Mike out of my memory. He's not even real. Oh, he's worse than real. He's everything you're afraid of rolled into one. Come on, Keith. Just you and me through the worlds of Castlevania. Winner is the real Game Master. Loser gets lost. Uh, I don't know. No! I've already won! You don't need to prove anything! Destroy Captain Ed! Who asked you, Bird Brain? What? Looks like you programmed him too well, Mother Brain. First one through is the winner. What do you say, dude? <laughs> You're on, dude. like I won, dude. You're gonna be the Grave Master now. Uh, if you were really programmed from my memories of Mike Vincent, then you can't be all bad. Wanna bet? Yow! But what about the good times Mike and I had together before he turned into a bully? Uh, like when he and I camped out in my backyard in sleeping bags. Or how about when, when we dressed up as girls and snuck into Susie's sleepover party? <laughs> okay, it's up to you. Are Mike and I going to remain enemies, or can we be friends? After I conquer Megaland, I think I'll remain in Motherland! Kevin? Too bad, Princess. Looks like my android is the only game master now. <laughs> Guess again, lame brain. What? Oh! Destroy them! Dr. Wally, quick! The secret weapon! <laughs> Kevin, look out! Mike! Ow! Oh! Ow! Ah. <laughs> Enjoy the warp home, mother brain. Thanks for saving me, buddy. You were right, Kevin. Mike was a decent guy underneath. Don't worry about me. 
I'm just an android. You really are the Game Master, Kevin. Yeah, I guess I am. Well, Captain N, didn't I tell you you could beat Mike Vincent? I did better than beat him, Simon. I became his friend again. Subspace transmission to Starfleet Command from Enterprise. Stardate 45481.4. It's a single blast. Source unknown. Lieutenant Worf checks weapon systems. Captain Picard orders full shields from Lieutenant LaForge in engineering. Suddenly there is an alien presence on the ship. It's one of the Borg, a hostile robotic life form. Commander Riker returns phaser fire. Star Trek, the next generation action figures from Playmates. Journey into the mysterious alien world of Abydos through the Stargate. Daniel Jackson and Colonel O'Neill battle the evil Ra, but Ra strikes back with a sinister Horus in the wicked Wing Glider. Fire! I am Ra, you must obey me. No way! Then Ra's guard Anubis morphs into a jackal, attacks and captures Jackson. So O'Neill charges to the rescue in the ATC. Fire! O'Neill's got the glider in his sights. And Ra's got trouble! Stargate, gateway to the ultimate adventure. Figures and vehicles each sold separately. joy out of your joystick, Dr. Wily, but I'm afraid you're not in control yet. Destroy him! I'm going to make paper dolls out of you! Hey, Gutsman, what do you shout when you're cutting down a tree? Uh, timber? If you insist. <laughs> Smile, Megatwerp! I want to get a picture of your last moment on Earth! Thanks for the race. Now I'll have to tan your hide. Ah! You really got a charge out of that one. In time, I'm going to get a charge out of this. 
Hey, what's happening? The end of Mega Man is what's happening. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> I've done it, Dad. I've destroyed Mega Man. <laughs> hey! I thought I told you I wanted to destroy my brother. Stop! What do you think you're doing? I'm tired of playing this stupid game with your little puppets. Hey, all right, all right. You can destroy Mega Man during the real operation. Now you're talking, Doc. Prepare to leave at once for the power station. I'll show Dr. Light and his robo-fools who the real genius is. Won't I, my little pet? Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to unveil my latest 9000 series domestic robots. First, there's Dolores the Robo-Nanny. She feeds and changes diapers in one easy operation. Then there's Morris, the robo-butler. He can pick out your clothes and doubles as a chauffeur. And finally, there's Doris, the robo-maid. She cooks and cleans and never complains. But I don't do windows. Well, almost never complains. <laughs> I'm glad Dr. Light designed a better robo-maid. Now I'll have more time to concentrate on being a <coughs> robo-hero. No offense, Roll, but I think you better stick to your housework. <coughs> Not too fast, <coughs> mecho mutt <Matt. coughs> Bad robo-dog. What am I going to do about your constant misbehaving? Try designing a robo-dog catcher. What was that? Sounded like an explosion. Come on, Rush. Let's check it out. <laughs> Someone's broken into the power company. Better switch to stealth mode. Master computer. Mega Man, you're late. You got here 30 seconds earlier in our war game. Sorry to disappoint you, Robo Bro. Did I win or lose? You were destroyed by me. Really? In that case, I'll have to return the favor. Plasma power! <laughs> Let him get your flesh! Stop her, you fool! Fools! I'll have to attach the override relay myself! Turn to me than a fly on the wall. Care to brush your titanium teeth, sir? No thanks, Morris. The only thing that can give me cavities is dynamite. But I could use a good cleaning after a dirty battle with Dr. Wiley. Mega Man? 
machine. Huh? Oh no! It's acid! It's locked from the outside. And Dr. Light reinforced the lab with super steel to keep Dr. Wily out. Only now, it's keeping me in! Stick around for more Mega Man after these messages. Oh, oh. oh Mega Man! right through my titanium skin. Hey, in here, Dr. Light! Hmm. At last, now I control everything connected the power grid. We're under attack by Dr. Wally. Send in the army. I think you've got the wrong number. <laughs> it's everything under my control. Let the Mega Man out of the way. The world is mine. <laughs> I've only got a few seconds left. Now why would anyone bar the outside of the bathroom door? Oh no! <coughs> Good timing, Dr. Light. <coughs> Another second and I would have been mega mush. Mega Man, what happened? Someone tried to dissolve me. It appears we've got a spy in the lab. Oh, swell. But who? Can we be of any further assistance, sir? Yes. Please clean up this mess. Right away, sir. I've got a sneaking suspicion the butler did it. There's no time to worry about that. Something's coming in over the emergency satellite scanner. Dr. Light, this is Captain Evans at Central Station. The city's being overrun by everything that isn't nailed down. My police force can't stop it. We need Mega Man's help now. Ah! Dr. Wiley's using the electricity to control everything in the city. So that's what he was doing at the power plant. I must figure out some way to stop him. Come on, Rush. We gotta help those innocent people. Rush? Yum, yum. Um, 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 um. Yummy. Nice doggy. Sad doggy. It's just a flea. I've been looking all over for you. We got work to do. <laughs> Let's burn paws. Don't I 
get a say in this? Sure. What'll it be? A clip job? Or a pounding? How about both at the same time? Hey! You! I couldn't have done it better myself. What's wrong, fella? <laughs> This circuit card was controlling you. And my hunch is whoever did this is the one who gave me an acid bath. No, 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 no. Unfortunately, there's no time to worry about that now. Come on. Size never hurt anyone. <laughs> Whatever you're up to, Wiley, Dr. Light and I are gonna stop it. Mega Man! Off my spy took care of you. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, you didn't? I'd much rather destroy you myself. Better beat it before I become the blue plate special! Time to practice my backhand. Well, Mega and Rush are in trouble. Good thing I got here in time. Welcome to the cosmetic department room. Yeah! Hey, let me go! Not before I give you the beauty treatment. <laughs> Get that oversized powder bob out of my face! <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages. We now return to Mega Man. under warranty. No, stop! Roll! I don't think you've got the color right. There. That's better. I'll handle her. No, she's mine! is for Dr. Light to find a way to stop them at the source. Oh, that was too close. This train will take us back to the lab safely. Good boy, Rush. It's coming back. There must be somewhere Wiley can't get to us. Quick, down here. That way. And so I am stepping down as your governor and turning over the state to Dr. Wiley. And my first official act of business I'm placing my trusted friends in all key positions. You can relax now. You're all in good.
good hands. <laughs> I've got to stop that maniac before he can do any more harm. Ah, there. This should do the trick. Dr. Light, look out! Hasta la vista, Mega Man. Mega Man La Vista. Mega Man La Vista. Mega Man La Vista. <laughs> For a housekeeping robot, she sure can make a mess. Mega Man, if you can attach this device to the power grid, we can shut down Dr. Wily's control circuits. It's our only chance. You've got to get through. I'll do my best. Robot oh, be alarmed! Governor Wily is now controlling the entire city. We will all be given further instructions by the governor's robot officers. On second thought, I guess you should be alarmed. <laughs> That little blue dweeb thinks he can sneak past me, does he? Well, I've got a surprise for him! Attention all police robo units! Mega Man is heading east on Jupiter Street! Intercept and destroy! <laughs> Robo officer in the side pocket. Yes! Ah, uh, no. I guess there's only one thing to do when you can't trust the police department. Call the fire department. Not so fast, little brother. If you're really my brother, Proto Man, you'll do the right thing and let me stop Dr. Wily's crazy scheme. It wouldn't seem so crazy if you'd join us, bro. Not a chance. Have it your way. Wow! That really stings my circuits! This ought to fix Proto Man. Better work. What's happening? I'm losing control. You mean you've lost control? Why, you overgrown circuit breaker? Man! Destroy Mega Man! So you command, so it shall be done. Now, to finish you off. your power. You're out of your league, Pharaoh Man. Going gone. You haven't seen the less of me, Mega Man. I'll be back. And I'll be waiting. Looks like Dr. Wily won't be bothering us for a while. But what if he tries to get control of the power grid again? He can't. The device I made had a security circuit built into it. Now that Dr. Wily's taken care of, what about his robo-spy Doris? Oh, don't worry about her. I reprogrammed her into Rush's personal servant. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Doggy, sir. Walkies! <laughs> Walkies! Right away, sir, Mr. Doggy, sir. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, mega, mega, right back, messages, 
Championship Edition Guile going boom in his Sonic Boom tank. Or the Beast Blaster. It comes with Championship Edition Blanca and Chun Li and fires double trouble missiles. Street Fighter 2! Capcom Street Fighter 2, Sonic Boom Tank, Crimson Cruiser, and Beast Blaster come with Championship Edition figures, each sold separately. That's a lot of stuff. Capcom Street Fighter 2! You want them, you got them. 12 inch tough, snarling, savage Street Fighters. Ryu's ready with a Kung Fu 1 2. Blanca's gonna bump you. Ryle Guile, and you'll go out in style. And Wicked M. Bison comes out slicing. Capcom Hall of Fame Street Fighter 2 figures eat so separately. Hello, senor. I am the Frito Bandito. Oh, don't be afraid. I am not going to steal your Fritos corn chips. I buy them from you, okay? See, I give you silver. No silver? Okay, I give you gold. You don't like gold neither? Hey, maybe you like better some lead, huh? Citizens, protect yourselves. Never buy one bag of crunchy Fritos corn chips. Always buy two and hide one for you. Who knows? There may be a Frito Bandito in your house. Rockets weren't strong enough to do much damage to Mega Man at all. Get me Sniper Joe, he'll take care of Mega Man. Here. Come on, hurry! Hang on a minute. Only be a little longer, Akane. I'm at a real good stage now. Oh, can't you stop playing that game for just one day? It's New Year's Day today, remember? So come on, hurry up, okay? We're all waiting, Yuta. Okay. All right! 
right, this is the last stage of the game. Hey, Dr. Wiley! So, Mega Man, you finally reached the last stage. That's right, and you're finally gonna lose this time, Wiley. You really think so, don't you? <laughs> you bet! I won't let you escape! trouble in there because you lost control of the game. How come? I'm sorry about that, Mega Man, but it was all her fault. Oh, well then. If you don't come now, then you don't get Otoshidama for New Year's, Utah. What? Otoshidama? I forgot. Hey, wait! Otoshidama? <laughs> What's happened? Where am I? Is that you, Mega Man? You beat Wily, I hope. <laughs> this is Dr. Light's laboratory. Oh, that's good, hmm? Now, Rule, all we have to do is connect this harness, and we'll be all set. Right! Mega Man, you can relax and prepare yourself for the next battle. Dr. Light's invented something spectacular. It'll be a little while, though. Huh? <laughs> Something spectacular. Wily. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> well, Light, what have you made for me? Be a time machine. <laughs> it's mine. No! Oh, I'm a time machine! Why? Stop pulling my mustache! Why, another dose of my knockout gas will fix you! <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! And look, even Mega Man came for the New Year's greeting. It was so nice of you to come. Uh, yes. From what I understand, Japanese people consider New Year's very important. 
Yes, we celebrate the first day of the new year, so we can start the whole year off right and make it a real good one. Oh, is that what you meant when you said Otoshidama? Shh, Mega Man? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Otoshidama is money that is given as part of the celebration. Ah, now I understand. So, children, here's your Otoshidama. Thank you! Akane? Thanks a lot, Dad! Wow! Yeah. Oh. Huh? What's that? Huh? Don't know. Huh? huh? It's Wily! And Roll's there, too! Gosh, that meddling Roll! Wily! Huh? Mega Man! I'm outside the game! Be prepared, Mega Man. With this machine, I'll conquer Japan! Wait! Huh? huh? He's gone! Huh? This is a terrible situation. Time machine was stolen and Ro was taken hostage. Wow! I never thought the situation was this bad. But if Wally uses the time machine to travel through time, we'll never catch him. Oh, ah! No, that's not true. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> Wiley must be planning to take revenge against you because of all the times you beat him. You mean... Yes, Mega Man. He is sure to appear again to try and defeat you permanently. Then we should wait for that time and capture him. Is that it? But I wonder what Wiley is plotting. He's the one with the time machine. I sure hope that Roll's okay. Oh... Uh, uh... I was wondering when you'd wake up. Wily? Huh? I didn't want you to cause me any more problems, so I took precaution. What are you up to this time, Wily? Huh? Ah! <laughs> Did you know that a number of meteorites are falling towards Earth? What about it? In most cases, they burn up while entering the atmosphere. But what would happen if the large ones were gathered up and then dropped on Japan all at once on a certain day? No! It was said that a giant meteorite caused the dinosaurs to become extinct and turn the Earth into the Ice Age. That is correct. Not only Japan, where Mega Man is at, but the whole world will be in great... <laughs> be horrible. Look, they're gathering them all up. <laughs> Dr. Light's invention is a pretty convenient device for my plan. They disappeared. I sent them to a future time, so that when the people of Japan are looking up at the sky on a lovely day, the meteorites will come crashing down. No, you can't! Oh, yes, I can. And I think I'll test one on Mega Man. Huh? It will be the perfect gift for him. I sure hope he enjoys it. Today, February 3rd, is the day of seasonal change, marked by the event of throwing the Setsubun beans to chase away the Oni, the evil gods, and to prevent bad luck from happening everywhere. Wow! Japan sure has some incredibly spectacular events. Mega Man, what's that? A gigantic Oni has appeared from nowhere. I'm not sure, but could this be a Setsubun attraction? No way! That's one of Wily's robots! What? supposed to be in the world of humans, so you better get out of here right now! I wouldn't do that if I were you. I think you'll do as I say once you see this. Look! Mega Man! Roll! <laughs> oh, you don't want to hurt the hostage, do you? Why, you! Mega Man, I have one more surprise for you. Meteor! Oh. I hope you like my little demonstration, Mega Man! Next time, I'll make an even bigger one for Japan. I won't let that happen! What the? Oh! oh. <laughs> this time, I win. It's been fun, Mega Man! 
<laughs> but it's time for me to run. You're the best. Huh? What's this? Mega Man, put on these sunglasses. Uh, okay. Can you see it, Mega Man? You can see something, can't you? Yeah! What is that? It's a distorted time wall created by the time machine. Then that means inside... That's right. There's an entrance to the time tunnel further back. But if you don't hurry, the wall will disappear. There's also something on Russia's back. Yeah, you mean this? Right. If you use it, you'll somehow be able to cross the time tunnel. Okay, I understand. Geronimo! <laughs> oh, did you see his face? He looked so worried. And you, you might here make a fine hostage. Hmm. Mega Man will come to save me in no time. <laughs> Say what you like, but I'm the one with the time machine, and it's time to make a brief stop. Today is March 3rd. It's Girls' Day. It's a celebration for us girls. I bought some Girls' Day crackers especially for us. Try Yay, some. Thanks. They're very good. Mm. Thank you. Oh. Would you give me some too? <gasps> <laughs> mm. it's, it's good. <laughs> Not bad. I'll show you what. Stop. Stop. Hey, Don't try to get out. away. Stop. We'll get you. You can't Come get past on. us. Thanks for the snack, but I must be going. That's too bad, because Mega Man says he's coming after you by using the time tunnel. So you better watch it. What? Mega Man? Wily, there you are. that up at our apartment. Hey, look. What's that? Something's falling from the sky. I see it. I don't know. It could be a meteorite. <gasps> no, it's not. That's Mega Man and Roll. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, look, Akane. He's waking up. Oh, are you okay, Mega Man? Huh? Mega Man, are you okay? Oh, Roll, you're all right! Yes? You couldn't capture Wily? No, uh, he got away. Well, that's okay. At least you're safe. Thanks to the Koinobori over there. Koinobori? Today is May 5th. In Japan, we call it Boys Day. And the koi fish are put up, so all the boys will grow up in good health. See, it's like this. The koi fish can swim up waterfalls, and boys, well, they're meant to grow up strong, just like koi fish. Oh. Mega Man! Hmm? Don't be upset just because you couldn't capture Wily. Huh? Proto Man! Beat! And Rush, too! For energy recovery, leave it up to Eddie. Wow! Hey! Thanks a lot! Hey, brother! I wish you'd hurry up and capture Wily and get back to the game world. 
Otherwise, I won't have anyone to battle with. And you know, I'm getting really bored. Okay, I got it. Everyone, let's work together to capture Wily. Okay? Sure. Leave it up to us. So let's be like the Koino Brewery and do our best. Yay! Wily is attacking on July the 7th? Yuta said July 7th is Tanabata, the day that two lovers that have become stars cross the Milky Way and reunite. Everyone in Japan makes a wish on a star on that day. Hmm. Wily said something about when the people of Japan look to the stars. Dr. Light, we've got to stop him before that, or else. Then our only chance is to stop him on July the 7th. Well then, there's no time to waste. It's up to me to find him and stop him. Wait. Huh? At this moment, you don't have enough power to do battle with Wily. And neither does Rush. But Dr. Light, does that mean no one will be able to stop Wily? Oh no, Japan is doomed. Dr. Light, please give Mega Man and the team more power. You've got to help us. Please help me, Dr. Light. All right then. We've only got two months to save Japan. It's a battle against time. <laughs> the people of Japan must know it's useless to wish upon stars. But once my plan is in effect, they'll wish the stars would stop falling on them. <laughs> July 7th has finally arrived, huh? On Tanabata Day, you're supposed to write down your wish on a piece of paper like this, hang it up, then wish upon the stars. What do you write? I wished for you to stop Wily and save Japan. That's exactly what I wrote. Well, thanks a lot, Akane. Yeah, no. Mega Man! Go, Mega Man, go! Hey, Mega, we'll be rooting for you. I'll be wishing upon the stars! Thanks, everyone. I'll do my best for you. Mega Man! Huh? Rush is all tuned up and he's ready to go. He's all ready for space travel. Yuna! Thanks for everything. I'm out of here. Good luck. And capture Dr. Wily too, Mega Man. Okay? Okay. upon stars. I'll show them all, and I'll finish off Mega Man at the same time with my meteorite robot! This is an urgent warning. A countless number of meteorites are suddenly approaching Japan. At this rate, Japan will be destroyed. Uh, wait, a new report. Mega Man and his group are stopping the meteorites. There's still a chance. Good luck, Mega Man. Go, go, come on, Mega Man. Go, 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 go for it. You can save us. Go, Mega Man, go. Ah! They'll be here soon. Let's split up and get ready for them. Right, run. Here they come. Everybody, huh? Beat! 
Mega Man, leave this part to us. You go get Wily, okay? Okay, good luck. Let's go, Rush. <laughs> Drat! It's Mega Man again! Huh? Get him! Destroy Mega Man! Come on! Let's see what you got! <laughs> that was close! <laughs> What's he aiming at? Listen to Mega Man. Hey, we're entering into the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> Mother! <laughs> no, wish upon anything, even a star. Just get back to Earth! Turn safely to Japan. Thanks, Mega Man. I know I caused a lot of problems, Yuda, but I sure learned a lot from all this. Uh huh. The Japanese people keep their old traditions, and from that, they learn many things. And you know, so have I. That's great. You bet it is, Yuta. Well, it looks like Yuta and Akane learned something from all this, too. Mega Man learned some things that a lot of Japanese people have forgotten. That's great. Well, uh, thanks. Come on, let's go, Mega Man. See you soon, Mega Man! See you in the video game! Goodbye, till we meet again!
アメリカの大人気ヒーロー日本初登場その名はスパイダーマン息を呑む迫力マシン GP7 を勝って地球を侵略する悪の組織鉄十字団と戦うスパイダーマン負けるなマーベラ戦えレオパルドン我らがスパイダーマンスパイダーマン光陵たるマザンダラーンの野に海保スローの大きひるがえれば邪悪なる蛇をザ・ハークの軍勢は春来に怯える羊の群れのごとく逃げ惑い鉄をも両断せる封建ルクナバード太陽のかけらを鍛えたるなり天空に太陽は二つなく地上に国王はただ一人類なき勇者海保スロ剣もてかの天命を継ぐ者はたぞ。で解放するの墓に潜り込み冒険を手にするつもりでございましょうか正当の多い継承者であり英雄を解放するの子孫であることをやつがどれほど強烈に誇りとしてきたか手間バント山の地下深くに閉じ込められたヘビ王ザ・ハークはこの世の終わりに再び地上に現れ世界を闇に返そうとするだがその時英雄王が再臨今度こそ永久にヘビ王を冥界へと追放するのだ<笑>死者が再臨するものか。自分では何もせず神頼みなんぞやっているからルシタニア軍も追い払えない奴隷制度もなくならない当然のことだな。
チュラン軍が南下して国境地帯へ荒らし行ってきたとなれば王都を奪回するたびに西へ進むアルスランは後方が危うくなるぞ根拠地であるペシャワール城を落とされでもしたらアルスランは無事では済まんぞ一刻も早く知らせてやるがよい<笑>かの御人らしい申しようでござるな。救援が必要なのはむしろシンドラの方でござろう。この後に及んでなお、我らに恩を売ろうとなさるとは、ラジェンドラメ。せっかく、王とエクバターナ解放への道を進みながら、途中で軍を返すのは残念ではある。しかし、今、東の国境ペシャワールを守ることが第一に大切であると思う。前方をルシタニア軍に阻まれて攻め滅ぼされてしまうこともあります前後の敵が協力しようなどという気を起こさぬうちに一つ一つ撃破なされた方がよろしかろうと存じますラジェンドラ殿がうまくいったと手をたたいて喜ぶであろうな喜ばせておけばよいかのご人の思惑などアルスラン殿下のご退院の前にはささやかなことだ引き返すのは良いとしてトゥランが南下してきたことを知ればルシタニアは追撃してくるかもしれぬこの件は隠し通さねばなるまいないや隠す必要はない隠すどころか情報を流してやればよい違った二つの情報ああ見ちゃいられないね赤ん坊はこう抱くんだよ抱くものもゆっくり体を揺らしたら安心して落ち着くだろうほら弱虫のままじゃ立派な盗賊になれないよとんでもないその子は立派なルシタニアの騎士になるのだ盗賊になどなられてたまるものか騎士になるんだったら弱虫でもいいのかそんなことは言うてはおらぬ<笑>お主らを見ていると飽きぬのあのルシタニアの娘も少し変わっているなだがなかなかけなげではないかせっかく助かったのだ無事でいてほしいものさここまで来て残念だとお思いですか天下あまり物事が順調に行きすぎるとかえって不安になるのだ何かこれでいいような気もするこれまでトゥランが手出しをしてこなかったことの方が考えてみれば不思議なことだおそらく内紛が続き他国に攻め込む余裕がなかったのであろうひとまず国内が安定して閉めたと思われちゃったのねトゥラーンが遊牧国家である以上略奪は犯罪ではなく立派な産業として攻め入ってくることだろうなルシタニアみたいに神の名を借りたりしないとこいっそ潔いじゃないの行くのかつまり私たちを放り出していくのだなここまで同行しながら無責任ではないか病人や乳児を抱えた私たちにどうしろというのだそう君に責められるのではないかと思っていた敵に攻撃された部下を救いに行くのは主君として当然のことだなではすぐに行くがいいルシタニアの避難民を守ってくれたことに感謝するところでトゥラーン人というやつらはどのような神を信じているのだ詳しくは知らないけど太陽を崇拝しているようだダヤンという彼らの神を聞いたことがあるそうか所詮異教徒だな
では頑張って全滅しない程度にやっつけてこいトランジにはいずれイアルダボードの神を信仰させるゆえ全滅させては困る。わずかだが受け取ってほしいもらうつもりはない借りておくがいつか必ず返すだから生きて戻れお前たち京都は死ねば地獄に落ちるのだからあの世で返すことはできないのだからな我々の動きを知ってルシタニア軍が背後から攻めては来ないでしょうか撤収すると見せかけて進軍すると見せかけて撤収する。エクバターナへの進行を中断皇帝の仲間にて撤退を開始撤退は我らが目を欺く手段最前線で得た情報ではパルス軍は依然この王と目指して進行中にございますええー、どちらなのだ引くか進むかはっきりせいもうよい下がれ初めてお目にかかる。私はルシタニア国王の弟、ギスカールと申すもお尋ねしたいことは、ヒルメスと名乗る男のことだ。またの名、銀仮面と。ヒルメスは死んだ。だが本人はパルスの先代の王の子にして正当の王位継承者と言っているのだ本人がヒルメスと名乗れば信じるかルシタニアの王帝は正直者だ何アトロパテネの野で仮面の男の手に落ちてより半年余り一切の情報を絶たれたこの俺の前にルシタニアの王族がパルスの王位の行方を案じるさてはパルスの軍勢がお主らに手を焼かせておるボクバクモノ黄金と違って鉄は腐るもん同じ箇所に汗と血と硝煙それに塩味のスープをついには腐って血切れやすくなるさあ地上の様子を語っていただこうかルシタニアの王帝殿下ほうお主が。我らの使者へ馬を貸した恩人であったか初めからあの変わり者の大太子殿への伝令と名乗れば気前の良さでは神後に落ちぬこの俺に痛い思いをさせられずに済んだものを伝令の内容がないようゆえに致し方あるまいて本来ならばお主にもっと礼を尽くすべきであろうがほう行き届いたことで分けあってペシャワール城まで殿下の舞台より先に赴かねばならぬ武勇に自信があるのか多分パルスで二番目の豪勇だと自負しているほう
お主の知る一番目の豪遊と4年前クランの国王を討ち取ったダリュン卿にござる。クランの部隊が再びこちらペシャワールへ南下中クランの親王とやらもつくづく嫌な策士を敵に回してしまったようでござるなほうほうさすが我が名優アルスラン大陸航路を前衛軍に渡らせて見せつけ残る全軍を率いて我がシンドラ国境地帯から迂回させる二段戦法に出るとはな<笑>ランドもメラをどう退散させるか見ものだな先祖部隊の所使よ腹が満たされねば士気もままならんぞ遠慮はいらん生きるも死ぬもお主らと共ともにさあ出発の前に杯を首交わそう今夜は無礼こうなるぞ立ち去れの民ども西の城門を開け何お主マルズバーンであったのかアトロパテルの一別以来はぐれてしまったがクバード卿もご無事であったとはこうして黒騎士殿と再会できるのも何かの縁というもの万の騎兵の長に立つ者にもさまざまなお方がいるものじゃ美女もおいでのことだし今宵は久々にいい酒を酌み交わそうではないかお主が同行してきた女神官殿は強いのは武芸だけではござらぬぞほうほうそれは楽しみなことだ<笑>振り出しに戻ってきてしまったことになるけど不思議と後悔する気持ちは湧いてこないよアズラいるまったく困ったものだもう7日ほども女の顔を見ておらんうっかり山中で不美人に出会って美女と錯覚でもしたらご先祖様に申し訳がないおやれやれ醜い女よりも厄介な先客が先回りしているのか。我が祖先、偉大なる解放するよ。御身の義勇を、子孫たる我に、貸したまわんことを。我々は、墓荒らしの盗賊ではないぞ。すべては、パルスの正しい王党を守るためだ。王権ルクナバードこそ、正しい王位の証。これを入手してこそ。俺は三奪者アンドラゴラスとその小せがれに対してその正しさを形として見せつけてやることができるのだではございますが殿下宝剣はその霊力を持って恐るべき蛇王を地下に封印していると聞き及びますもしルクナバードを取り出すことによって蛇王ザ・ハークが再臨するようなことにでもなりましたらヘビ王ザ・ハークを封印しておるのは
偉大なる解放するの例であって冒険ルクナーバードはその付属物であるに過ぎぬルクナーバードそれ自体に霊力があったとすればヘビ王がよみがえったところで俺がその霊力によって再びヘビ王を封印してくれよつまり何も恐れる必要などないのだ鉄をも両断せる封建ルクナバードは太陽のかけらを鍛えたるなり類いなき勇者カイホスロ剣モテかの天命を継ぐ者はたぞヘボ学士呼びもせぬのに押しかけて自分自身を弔う曲を奏でるつもりか<笑>銀仮面殿の目的は墓嵐か人間落ちぶれたくないものだそうか貴様はアンドラゴラスの小せがれに命じられて俺たちを探りに来たのだなあくまで俺に敵対するか味方でないものは敵とすぐに決めつける王者の振る舞いとしては嘆かわしいフォーケン・ルクナバードを地上の者が手に入れられるとしたらそれはアルスラーン殿下だあの方こそ封建の所有者としてふさわしい<笑>あの小せがれ方とはははたわけたことを貴様はふざけた男ではあるが類いまれなる剣士であるには違いない正当の国王の敵手としてルクナバードに斬られるという名誉を授けよう<笑>無論抵抗しても構わぬぞ<音声>おおこの脈動こそ封印が破られた何銀ピカの王子様は国土より王権の方がお大事かヘビ王が復活して民を害し国を滅ぼそうとも自分一人のための玉座が欲しいのだおうスラシンとの間に小酒っ契約の神ミスラシンもお見捨てだ正当だろうが不当だろうがお主の器量ではルクナバードの霊力を御することはできんのだよ天下ごめんなんで何をするご覧の通りでござる自分がしたことの意味が分かっているのか覚悟あってのことかいくらでも私をお殴りなさい切られても恨みはいたしませぬ学士めが申したことは残念ながら事実でござる封印するにかけてはならぬ封建いずれ殿下が正当の王位を回復なさった後神官に命じて儀式を執り行い堂々と手になさればよろしゅうございましょう地上の敵を追う地あるのに封建の力など借りる必要はござらぬ残でよお前の父カーランは正当の王位に忠誠を誓い命を落としたその功績に免じて今回お前の罪は許してやるだが一度限りだよいか亡き父の霊もこの次はお前を救えぬものと思えどうやら寸前で封印の力が回復したらしいな
でかい体だけが自慢の粗暴な男と思ったが<笑>案外そうでもないじゃないかヒルメス王子にも全く部下がいないというわけではなさそうだチこら何をするか乱暴な何をするかもあるか無課勉強に逆らう不定のやからめお主の立場はよくわかるだが俺にも俺の立場があって<笑>殺されてやるわけにはいかんねえ何付き合っていられるかあばよこっちだおい待てれ待てーと言われて待つバカがどこにいるかやかましい<笑>今頃下界ではどんな楽しいことが起こっているのか知れたものじゃないトゥラン軍もこのまま引き下がるはずはなし東軍はペシャワールから動けんな静かな芸術の道に戻るのはまだ先のことかエクバターナのルシタニア君が妙におとなしいのも気にかかる空中を漂う精霊どもがいつになく想像しゅうございます西北の方向に何やらまがまがしい風が吹いております西北にあの伝説の大きいデマバントさんのある方向どうだ面白いではないか先祖が封印したものを子孫が取り除き。ヘビオザ・ハーク様の再臨に力を貸そうというのだからな
With the fate of the world lying in the balance, his task is simple. Protect a man's life for 24 hours. I'm putting you in charge of guarding him. Who is this person? Mr. Giuseppe Maillard. Guard him without fail, because as far as the radicals are concerned, if they can kill him, they'll control everything. Thrust into a world of supernatural treachery, his only hope that his new partner is as good as she looks. Top agents from opposite worlds, they are the last defense against the anarchy of the black world. For the life of me, I can't figure out why you're my partner. What you mean is why your partner is a woman of the black world. The twisted beings from the other side will do anything to stop them. の時代第一に染み込んだ民衆の血は妖魔の復活を招こうとしていたどうした、マロウ我らが親方様は上洛目前に救世されたその遺言として親方様の死は三年の間諸国に潜ねばならぬ魔老が口から親方様が死他国に漏れては武田人軍の面通が立たぬ魔老が口必ずや塞げ情け無用抜け人魔
囲まれたか実報知りけんいがものか探しと,しかし先ほども申し上げた通りあの滝はこの世で行き場のなくなった者が自ら命を捨てに来る場所拙僧はそうして仏になった者をここでお慰めするのじゃお主の探す者はこの辺りにはおるまい。この辺りは死を覚悟した者しか寄りつかん。人里に行こうと思えば、すぐに畳たたねば日が落ちます。二手に分かれたか。
雨の六つ袋と変わりゃせぬ七つ涙も枯れ果てて。もうすぐ日が暮れてしまうわおお旅の人がようこそいや俺はよし一緒に飲もういい酒があるんだおいらみんな新しい仲間だぞせいざえー、飲もう飲もう<笑><笑>さあお兄ちゃんやいけ楽しんでってくれよいや飲んで飲んでおらおまえらみんなおまえらみんなおまえらマロマロなんで飲んでないじゃないか確かにマロだ<笑>そうマロウさんっていうの、うん、ほらじっとしてだけど若侍姿の人なんてこの村にはいなかったと思うけどいや見間違えるはずないよっぽど仲が良かったのねできたわここの人たちはどうして見ず知らずの俺のことを信用するんだろうみんないい人ばかりでしょ糸さん糸さんよ日陰さんこれを使いよどうもありがとう糸さん村に住んでる者はねみんなどこからか流れてきた旅人なのさそしてそのまま居ついてしまうきっとあんたも同じだよみんな覚えてないのこの村に来る前何をしていたのかどこから来たのか
堀の鳴き声もしない村か日陰さんお昼食べて行きなさいよ。全くないというのはどういうことだ<音声>まだ見張ってやがる確かに魔老の足取りはこの辺りで途切れているが我々も村を見張っていたが魔老は見かけなかったああこちらも村中の家を探りましたがそれらしき姿はありませんでしたしかし確かに一度はもうしばらく調べさせてくださいお前と魔老は兄弟同然しかしくれぐれも情けは無用よいなものがよみがえるマロあやつは土の中から生まれた子供だまさか里の者は皆知っていた口にはしなかったがな土の中から生まれた子太一さんそういえば姿が見えないけど
また旅に出たんでしょ殺されていたんだそんなバカなことこの村では新しい旅人が来るたびに誰かがどこかへと消えてしまうのあや殺されていたんだ確かこの辺りに手裏剣を投げたはずだけどおかしいな血の跡もないなんて。おかしなことばかり起こるこの村は一体どうなっているんだ人間として生まれた我らが王菊賀の巫女様が人間を超え再生するために必要なのじゃ<笑><笑>あの村は特別料理の生贄にえじゃ<笑>日陰菊賀の巫女様はお主の肉も所望じゃ<笑>
恨まれる筋はない人間はお前らの餌じゃない<笑>心のやましさ弱さを持ち悲しみの淵に沈み絶望し生きる辛さに耐えられぬもはや人の世に戻れぬ生きる価値のない者たちよそれらを食らって何が悪い伊藤さんお嬢は死んだんだね日陰よくここまで来たね
Hayır. ひどいもんだな風見もはや魔老を追う必要はなくなった親方様が亡くなられたことをすでに織田上杉に知られてしまった日陰日陰もはや魔老を追う必要はないのだぞ
今世界に先駆けてコンピューターアニメついに完成の映像コンピクスがスクリーンを狙撃開始アニメがついに実写を超えたゴルゴ13The dweebs already. Take us to your leader and all, okay? Why you? Uh huh. Whatever. Let's get it over with. say this world was created by the light. What was it then that caused the dark to be created? The honed will to fight is awash in the stench of death. On the faces of those who live in the light can be seen a sort of death mask, while those who live in the dark seem content to remain in their unlit vaults and crypts. Of what worth is one's will to fight? What worth when the blood that sprays forth from violated flesh seems to find new freedom in its release. The humans fear the dark, and yet, in order to escape it, might they themselves be the first to cast aside their own humanity. Neither approving of the other's existence, both determined to fight, fight until death. This world seems drunk on the elixir, of madness. You have the eye of a dark one. True. 
Half the blood in my body is the cursed blood of the dark. The half that is dark tries to bury this world in madness. But the half that is pure will yet triumph over the power of the dark. You cannot. How can you do what cannot be done? From the look of it, it seems to be the handiwork of two. No, make that one. One strong man. Let's hear it for the end of the Dark Ones! Hip hip! <laughs> yes, it was hard not to notice. You're satisfied, then, that the Dark Stalkers in this area have been exterminated? Oh, sure, yeah. It turns out we didn't even need you. We're sure glad you came, though. Never can tell when you're gonna need some dark stalking busters. Of course, a pretty girl like you's welcome to come in. Can't pay you, though. We've no intention of accepting reward for service not provided. Yet we would be grateful for whatever you have on our predecessor, as in the man who beat us to the job. Predecessor? For one thing, you carried this huge sword and wore these crazy beads. Was he a monk? <sighs> yeah, I guess he could have been. <laughs> His best part was we didn't have to pay him a darn thing. Ain't often you get something for nothing. Know what I mean? <laughs> Scratch that. Best part of it was not having them darn dark ones around no more. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, there's no need for you to be rushing off now, is there? Sure, maybe it works right up, but oh, inside, uh, still plenty wet to drink. Besides, pretty gal like you don't want to be out here in the middle of the night, not by yourself, especially after the Dark Ones carried off all our women folk. So what do you say, you're gonna spend the night, or what? <laughs> yeah, you don't want nothing to grab you. Especially not when we're here to protect you. Sorry, gentlemen, but no. One would so hate to be obliged to her protectors for protection. Good day. Not so fast! If you don't want to get hurt, you'll do what we say! We can't just let the first girl we've seen in forever drive away. Come inside! Be a good girl! Pour down your drink! <laughs> what is it with men? Tag Sienko, you're it! <laughs> don't they realize how much energy we've got now that we don't have to fight their stupid dark stalkers? <laughs> Ni hao. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I know. Don't kill him, just hurt him a little bit, right? You want more? Being drunk don't make you invincible, you know. Maybe you better reconsider. She's a monster! Han, go and get her! Monster? Is that what you think of me? I'm a Chinese vampire. Uh-oh, I suppose hopping ghosts are kind of like monsters. <laughs> what do you want, a group rate? Huh? <laughs> Thank you.
you, Sienko. Jeez, why do I always get stuck with the physical stuff, huh? Thanks to your efforts, this land is now safe for maidens. Whoa, what does that make me? Damn you, woman. How dare you! So sorry. They're even worse than the Dark Ones at times, these wretched humans. We'll never defeat the Dark at this rate. These are not what I seek. What interest have I in these empty, soulless, useless pieces of tin? The armor I seek has a will of its own. Its power is spiritual, the very worst kind. Long and far have I searched for such an armor, hearing naught but rumors. When I find that which feeds on the blood of its wearer, I shall rest. My lord, we've received word that the man you've been awaiting has reached the city gates. Has he now? <laughs> Be sure to welcome him properly. This is going to be interesting. Uh, Twenty quad loose on the newcomer. Thirty if he loses. And fifty to win. One hundred to lose. They use guns. Sir, you were right. That soldier is one of the Dark Ones. How clever of you to test his strength. I'll send out the troops immediately. Not so fast. If he is, as I in fact suspected, a Dark One, a hundred human soldiers won't be sufficient to defeat him. If in truth he does come to us today as a hunter of the Dark, well then, we would be foolish indeed to provoke him, would we not? We, after all, are his employer, he the employee. Think what it means to have in our employ a dark one. Will you look at that sword? <laughs> I've heard the rumors. A man with much the same strength, no, make that greater strength than the Dark Ones themselves. Men, of course, traditionally being unable to withstand the power of the Dark. <laughs> I see you are a man of few words. So much the better. Let's get to the point, shall we? On the ridge of the valley, just outside of town, a treacherous dark stalker has set up camp, from which he bedevils our very existence. Just as we had given up hope, convinced there was no god in the world, of whom should we hear but a man? One who hunts the dark, a vampire hunter, a savior of justice, who might be able to restore peace to this fair and troubled city. I've no need of that. Just as the rumors said. We humans, however, do find it rather useful. And now that we've so few visitors, we've so much less of it. That demon in the Northern Valley keeps them away, you see. Northern Valley. 
That's all I need to know. One more thing. If you'll humor me, I'd prefer that this time around you use the back door. Customers are superstitious, you see. Also, we wouldn't want them thinking just anyone is allowed in. That's bad for business, no? Even as they revere us as hunters of the dark, still they drive us from the warmth of their human light. Is it the light of the city itself that is corrupt? Or is it my idea of that light that... I would have you remain here. There's no need for you to endanger yourself by joining my foolish way of life. A foolish way of life. What's the matter? Are we there yet? Hey! We're still in the mountains. What did we stop for? This is where they say the Dark Ones appear, isn't it? What's the matter? Get the horses going! Yes, indeed, sir. This is, in fact, the very place the Dark Ones appear. Quite frequently, I might add. Then that's even more reason for us to get going. Indeed, that is our hope as well. We recognize your eagerness for the sport that lies ahead, and yet we must first beg your indulgence in a small but worthy endeavor of our own. What kind of indulgence? Understand me, sirs, that I wish only to ensure the safety of this important route. I must therefore see to the disposal of a certain local nuisance. You're thinking of fighting the Dark Ones, are you? We've got to get out of here! The price on the head of the demon of this valley bids me otherwise. For that reward, make that for the city itself. Methinks your cooperation not entirely unwarranted. The demon trades blood. If you won't help us one way, you'll help us in another. You can't possibly... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> They're mad! They're both mad! <laughs> well? No, nothing yet! It's blood! He's waiting for the blood! Let's give it to him, shall we? <laughs> what the? Hey, get them horses! Calm down! What? Is it behind me? In armor. If we can bring it back, we'll all be rich! <sighs> so you would possess me. I see this great continent without wars is nonetheless filled with fools. If such fools should shed their blood and cover me in it, I cannot help but thank them for it. I do that in my plan. I fail a strong opponent. I, along with this being, have the power to make a mighty warrior even greater. Who the hell is that? A warrior who also desired to possess me. Together, we have taken many heads, piling up many corpses, and forming a formidable union over the long span of years. Can it be that you are mightier than me? If so, possess me, and help me create a new hell on Earth. Then will the likes of me be worthy of me? 
Much too slow. Did you think you could take me with your pathetic strength? Am I not worth a greater effort? Us, oh, please! But I've not Spare killed us. nearly no. enough! No. <laughs> I start! But not nearly enough. I need more blood. More! More blood? Give it to me! <laughs> Spare us! We're innocent bystanders! So you won't possess me. This great continent without wars is nonetheless filled. But, but we, we never said that! Honest! I'd say very strong opponents! <laughs> Dark. <laughs> Perhaps you wish to possess me, or is it my soul you've come for, monk? Is that it? Is my soul what you want? Come, let us see which of the two swords is the stronger. Let us see who covers whom in the other's blood first. Your blood interests me not. I come only to destroy. You two are of the dark. My joy knows no bounds. seem to believe you are their savior, how little they realize their souls are that upon which we of the dark feed. Be gone, foolish humans! Your use is at an end! Would he not instead wish to kill them? The power of the dark exists to feed on the souls of this world. I don't get it. I can't comprehend it. I... <sighs> what? I don't get it. Why? Why does he do this? <sighs> I don't dare it! Why does he try to save us? I will rid this world of the dark. I don't get it! He uses the power of the dark to destroy the dark! Why? Why would he do that? Why? warrior who once sought strength and took up the cursed armor for himself. Confused by your determination and will, it seems the demon's hold upon me has at last been loosened. Huh? Uh. 
for one with the power of the dark to long for its destruction. Does that not in fact deny you and your own existence? Suicide is betrayal of the self. The inconsistencies of my life are not something I need explain. I must admit, however, to a certain pleasure in the sight of my own blood. It is tainted. Let it flow out of me. Were I but able, I would ask that your blade finish it. I would that this world be done with me. I share your suffering. For you to despise the dark, yet feel it, know it in your own body. The temptation must sometimes be great, yet you must not yield, must not make all your sacrifices you've made a lie. The life you have chosen to lead is that of a true and virtuous soul. Even more strangely, it would seem your journey for answers is no longer solely your own. Live on and show me the way. Do not be tempted by the dark and show me the true path of man. Not be tempted by the dark. Show the path of man. It may be only a dream. <clears throat> I would that it not end as a dream. For that dream is no less than that which we have lost. That we have all lost. You see, sir? There it is! The armor! Like I said! I'll be damned! You're right! At last, the armor of the dark is mine! Man yearns for battle, to gain by his own prowess that which he desires. From that desire are born the many hells, even the one which delights in death. The armor of the dark, in all its long and sordid history, is nothing but a shell of ugliness. A truth filled with sorrow. You've gained both the armor and the sword of the dark one in one fell swoop! I have, haven't I? <laughs> this is it! This is what I've wanted all along! <laughs> What's going on? Though he may be driven insane, long past the time of war, the armor must have its master. It is, perhaps, a story as old as the world. Very well. I shall don the armor once more. It would seem only a true warrior can defeat this cursed armor. I shall don it, do battle with it from within, and perhaps someday I shall even defeat it. Then, and only then, will I be able to say that I am truly free. Were I able, I would live as that man desires to live, virtuous and true to the path he has chosen. Stay with him until the end. The lonely path upon which one may choose to walk, one's companion may well be the saving grace of the soul. One's companion may well be the saving grace of the soul. I don't get it. I cannot understand. It makes no sense. It cannot be comprehended. It does not make sense. They understand it, not at all. The beauty of this earth. To shroud it in this unsightly cloud. To what end beauty when all light is gone? The dark stalkers who did this, is it they who presume? Think they to hide from humans the light they have not to give? The earth is a treasure, more deserving than that.
of its black for that which is missing. The Earth needs a ruler. If Pylon is needed, Pylon it shall have. Humans are weak. Humans are weak. And yet they are... Look, sis, that's him. The guy that's been competing with us. It would seem so. He's badly injured. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Please, go ahead and give that man some water. What are you waiting for? Hurry up or he'll die! He's your friend, isn't he? He is not my friend. Why, you little- Sian Ko! What's the matter with you? Are you a defect? There's a guy dying and you just stand there like it don't even- Speaking of which- Oh, uh, yeah. He's breathing, at least. Don't know for how much longer, though. Would you mind going to get him some more water? It's not something to throw away, you know. A man's life. He still wants to live, can't you see? There must be many things left he still wants to do. We can help him, you know. Help him live on. Don't you think we should at least try? Tell me, what is it your heart is telling you to do? Does it want you to stand there, do nothing, and let him die? Jeez, kids are brats. Remind me not to have any. <sighs> not right away, at least. <laughs> the eyes of that child, they... They seem steeped in the blood of the world. Perhaps her stubbornness is the only way she can protect herself.
<gasps> Don't be in such a hurry. Stay still a while. Whatever we are, we're not your enemy. However, we would like to know who it is we've taken such pains to rescue. Forgive us, we don't mean to be rude. We two sisters are hunters of the dark. Looks like we're even in the same business. <laughs> oh, I see you noticed. Works great, don't it? If we hadn't had this medicine, you probably would have kicked off for sure. Is that? Darkstalker medicine? Duh, wouldn't have worked otherwise, would it? Target located. Beginning annihilation. Target located. Beginning annihilation. Long have I cursed the blood of the dark that fills my veins. Long have I sought to find value in my own life by striving to rid this world of the dark. Because I must despise the half of me that is of the dark, I strive to cleanse myself by doing battle. Will that change anything? I do not know. And yet I am a man who knows no other way to live and must follow my own path. <laughs>
Don't you cry, I will try all I can. We'll be all right, all my love. Don't you cry, I will love you, never leave you. If one were to photograph the human body from an elevated plane, several distinct shadows would begin appearing. These are what's known as mind shadows. Within these shadows, there exists a universe far beyond the mortal plane. There is a type of energy called chi, which blows like a savage wind through that universe. The name that I have given to that wind is Vajra. It's done, Ken. Our work is finished. Our president has taken the initiative, calling for unilateral disarmament. Dr. Morgan could not have imagined the power that Vajranoid has at his fingertips. Upon consulting our military records, we can conclude that we have nothing like this. Do you think it's realistic to hope for the nations of the world to lay down their arms in favor of a single united force? Well, it's very difficult to say. I mean, there are many private research groups who before now were supervised by government. The Vajra will soon be manifest within a life force of an as yet unknown power, born to the continual creation and destruction of the universe. Today, the birth of that child has come. Everyone will die! In this world, is the destiny of mankind controlled by some transcendental entity or law? Is it like the hand of God hovering above? At least it is true that man has no control, even over his own will. Cannot be. <laughs> I see. I've seen this double edged ploy before. Leave him alone. You almost got him killed. It's because of you! Show you another way So put your 
Have you heard about the trouble with the Hawks? I have. That they suffered serious losses during a recent battle. You know, the soldiers say they encountered some kind of huge demon in the Tudor Castle. A huge demon? I declare it to be a falsehood, designed to draw attention away from their failure. It's no better than a child's trick. However, Griffith ultimately succeeded in securing the castle's surrender. We may not accuse them of failure. Yet they did suffer serious losses. Besides, it is rumored that Griffith will be raised to the peerage. I've heard that as well. It is true indeed. His reputation with the king has continued to rise due to all of his recent achievements. Outrageous! Why should the king give such a title to that mercenary? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Who is that? The commander of the Hawks Raiders. You've had a terrible experience in battle, haven't you? I heard that you encountered a demon on the battlefield. I wonder if the demon injured you. <laughs> Perhaps in the dark you saw a dog and thought it was a monster in the heat of battle. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> Why, you... Sorry. I'm a little off balance lately. Damn you, cur! My blade hungers for your blood! That mongrel! What's going on? You're all up here, I see. Are you well enough to walk? I'm fine. It's because of you! Just forget about it. No one blames you. Casca just said that because she was frantic at the time. You know how she is. So, what are you all doing here today? Well, we wanted to visit Griffith. We're not allowed. There are visitors here already. Ministers, bishops, and other sundry big shots in the royal court have come to pay their respects. The world is as kind as it is cruel, so to speak. Some of the senior statesmen despise Griffith and regard him as some upstart mercenary commoner, while others try to gain his favor to secure their future in the court. I get it. Maybe we've just been taking it for granted, but Griffith has at least so far been invincible. Basically, he is the leader of the strongest unit in Midland's army. Mm, that's it. Huh? Wh where are you going? Wh wait a minute! Wait! You weren't listening, were you? Yes, I was. So what? So what? Don't give me that! I'm telling you to wait here until Griffith finishes receiving his visitors. I don't give a damn about protocol. I'm going in to see my friend. Gods? You wait here. It's far enough. You'll have to wait till the meeting is over. <laughs> A 
All right, hold it. Go. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, no. <laughs> what an asshole. Hey, Rickett. Wanna pay Griffith a visit? <laughs> Suit yourself. Hey, Griffith! Come on now. Haven't you had enough? <laughs> your problem why why does it always have to come down to this and in spite of it all why does Griffith value you so much Wait! Guts! Well, that killed the mood. I guess I'll come back later. You know, I think I understand how Guts is feeling. After all, Griffith has been unapproachable lately. It's like... it's like he's a stranger. should have left you to die out there. You don't care at all about your men. You're nothing but a mad dog. <laughs> Why? Why does it always have to come down to this? <laughs> it's because of you! It's because of you! <laughs> You're certainly on edge. Griffith! You seem quite able, though you were beaten much more soundly than I. I swear, you are a tough one, Guts. I apologize about yesterday. I heard you all came to visit me. Those ministers. They visit me every single day, taking advantage of my weakened state. It's quite tedious, really. I wish just once I could send them away. Nosferatu, Zad. To think that such an enormous monster really exists. I have a feeling that it wasn't quite as bad as my nightmares. But on the other hand, it is evident that there exist great beings beyond human knowledge. I would say that it could be something like... a god. More like... a demon. Who knows? Is there a difference? By the way, how did the fight end? Forgive me for not remaining conscious to help. It was because of that thing around your neck. If you think this man your friend, then know this. When you regard one another as brother, and this man's ambition crumbles, it is your destiny to face your death. You cannot escape your fate! Zod certainly recognized that thing. The Baylet seems to protect me from evil. I must thank that old fortune teller woman. I think... 
I owe you my life again. Tell me. Three years ago, you said that you didn't want to lose an outstanding soldier. I am just a soldier serving you. But you are about to lose your life for me. A soldier. One of hundreds. It's not the kind of thing that happens to a level-headed man like you. So why? Oh, that. I thought we'd ended this discussion. And three years ago at that. There's no reason in particular. Do you really need one? Will you always be left doubting me when I lay down my life for you? No. It's just... Oh, Sir Whitehawk. You seem to have gotten better. Your Majesty. Hey, gods. Kneel! How dare you! Show respect for your king! Never mind that. Raise your heads. I'm just out getting fresh air. But, Your Majesty, everybody within the castle has grown excited because of the constant skirmishes and war councils. Alas, we do not have time to regain our composure. Allow me to introduce to you my younger brother, the Earl of Urius. He is the General of the White Dragon and next in line to the throne. I am Griffith. It is an honor to meet you. Hmm. My Lord Griffith, I am always proud when you so capably lead the Hawks to victory. That is kind, Your Majesty. You know I wasn't always an old man. Seeing your dauntless courage in battle even makes me burn for a fight. It reminds me of my youth when I fought alongside my subjects in the war. Majesty, you should not talk to a mere unit commander. It isn't done. I do not mind talking with him. The truth be told, some of the senior statesmen in the royal court are rather displeased by your presence. They are concerned that your common birth might affect the prestige of the Midland Army. However, neither prestige nor status brings us triumph on the battlefield, much less welfare for my people. We live in a turbulent age. I am, hence, greatly depending upon exceptional people like yourself rather than the generals who belong to the aristocratic class and are tied up in old traditions. Once again, I am very much obliged, Your Majesty. <gasps> who is that lady over there? Hmm? Oh, my daughter Charlotte. She is very shy. According to her, she is frightened of haughty warriors, so she rarely comes out of the palace. Charlotte, come over here. She is a very private person. Because she is my only daughter, I fear I've spoiled her. Please forgive her, Lord Griffith. Come along now, Charlotte. Pardon me, Lady Charlotte. You bastard! Such impudence! Laying hands on the princess! Ah! Hey, old man! Pardon my ill manners, Your Excellency Urius. What's keeping you? It's nothing, father. Shall we leave now, my lady?
always be left doubting me when I lay down my life for you? He said, for you. I don't know if this is the answer I've been looking for all my life. But for now, I swear my life and my sword to him. Do you understand how important this stronghold is? No, no sir! Imbeciles! You should know your history! Now you listen. As a result of Jodry's capture, we could, for the first time, successfully split the enemy lines. And this stronghold was built as our army's staging point for attacks against Midland. Behold this road. This road once functioned as the most important pass for military troops between Doldry and the Kingdom's territory. However, since our military forces seized this bridge, the tide of the war was turned. They were forced to expose the heart of Midland directly before our military forces. According to the secret tactics handed down through the Corbowitz family for 300 years, capture a road and capture the victory! <laughs> well, uh, shouldn't we strengthen our defenses? Huh? Uh -huh. Pa! Of course we strengthen our defense! Look here. If the enemy attacks us, they have to march over this bridge. Therefore, that's where the best soldiers from the garrison will amass. It's a narrow stone bridge, so only one mounted soldier or two can charge at a time. Moreover, Tudor's finest archers will be maintaining their defensive position above the exterior gate. Our archers will easily cut down the leaders of the enemy as they march in one by one. This is perfect. We'll deliver a severe blow against the enemy while escaping any damage ourselves. My scheme is fantastic. Excuse me, sir, but what if the enemy doesn't use this bridge and attacks from our flanks? <laughs> you need not worry. There's no bridge or ford along the river running within eight miles, and the river is wide and deep enough that not even the best horse could cross. <clears throat> but, um... Pardon me, sir. What if the enemy makes a raft? <laughs> As you see, we are in a barren land of rocks and vineyards. It is impossible to make a raft because of the lack of trees. Even if the enemy makes a raft, they cannot send many of their troops over at once. Or will they make a raft out of the grapevines? <laughs> Why do we have to sortie the moment Griffith feels better? We're the only ones they can count on in battle. I don't know if you care, but even the heavy-equipped Golem Knights failed to capture that castle. Yeah, I heard they were severely damaged. It gets worse. Reportedly, two-thirds of the Knights were defeated on the bridge. What? Don't say that. Now it's our turn. We shall dispose of them. Looking back, the morning comes to find your face in your grass. Take the moonlight, but it's 
sacrifices himself for his ambitions, especially when he possesses a young heart. He is unable to suppress his burning ambition to gain glories and to lose dreams. Those are the fates one can scarcely avoid. Hey guys! Oh, big golf, huh? All right. Well, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> 